Hi. Welcome to Kitchenette Best Friends. I am Kimberly. I'm Amanda. This is my kitchen. And you're you and you're here. We're so happy. <laughs> if you're not at a parade, welcome to the kitchen. That's it is hot either way. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people at a hot parade. We are in a hot kitchen bringing you carbs and inclusivity. And <laughs> we are so excited. Yes. <laughs> We're doing something we've never done before today. We just make bagels and make rainbow bagels. Yeah, I've never <laughs> had a rainbow bagel. Me neither. They oh, existed fun. after I stopped eating regular oh, bagels. Well, <laughs> while we're making them gluten free too, we are really taking it on. Yeah, it might go terribly. We're yeah. gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna show my pride of my various flours that don't contain gluten. When I tell you, I looked at the recipe and I was like, oh, we're gonna have to buy so much. <laughs> I was like, nope, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nope, got an easy substitute for that. Mm, got an easy substitute for that. Actually, millet most... flour. What's millet? I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know, but I have it in my kitchen. Anybody know what millet is? I don't know. What's a buckwheat? What's a psyllium oh husk? Gosh. But here we are. Here we are. I'm just poking Hello my to yes. everybody. Yeah. Adam Lash, subscribed to Tier 1. Oh, thanks, Thank Andrea, you. thank you as well. You also resubscribed. Oh, thank That's you. Life. Gary is here. He was first. Hi, yeah, Gary. And <laughs> Gary asks, what's the best way to store a bagel for future consumption? Freeze it? Slice it, then freeze it. If oh. you're getting really fancy, put a piece of parchment paper between the slices so you can Ooh. easily pull it apart. Get fancy. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think in general, freezing That's bread That's when you grew up with a thing. lot of frozen bagels around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not That's right. from the freezer section. From a very good bagel place that you then freeze to be good. Yes. <laughs> uh, Helltoppy, thank you. I appreciate the appreciation of my ensemble. This is my love who you are. Uh, it's a workout top that I bought. We're working out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're sweating as much as we are as when I work out. I'm yeah. like, good Lord. Um, but I, I bought it from Gap, and I was like, it was like one of those purchases where I was killing time in college. Um, so I went to NYU Tisch Cap 21. And Cap 21, uh, when it was still part of it, was right near the Gap on the corner of 18th and 6th. 18th yeah, and I've been to that Gap. Yeah, there you go. So I popped in. Is it a Nordstrom? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. Old Navy. It's an Old Navy. Different. <gasps> yes. I They're do know that Old Navy. It's by the container store. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, so I popped in and I needed a workout shirt because this I This has been one. where in New York you can buy a shirt. <laughs> or anyway, container. I bought it because I was feeling very sad about myself because college made me feel sad about myself a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. College was a, a rough school. time. Theater school is a rough time. You get yeah. told a lot of things about... What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> About okay. your body, about yourself, about your whole life, <laughs> what it might be or could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you are never going to do and what you are not capable of being. Yeah. Super fun. Anywho, I bought it because it was a little message to myself to uh, to not buy into that. And then it feels very appropriate for Pride because uh, there's a lot of societal uh, BS out there that uh, sure is. tells you some bad stuff about you. Yeah. And uh, you know better than anyone about you. Yes. So uh, just remind you you're loved. I love you. Love. love yourself first. Love yourself. I have a pride shirt on from a random St. Louis pride <laughs> festival that Jay and I stumbled into with his parents last Literally summer. Stumbled into Literally, oh, really? we were like, let's go buy Jay a like St. Louis baseball hat from the stadium because maybe they have fun colors and yeah. he likes fun colors. Sure, sure. And we walked up to baseball. What's it called? Baseball Village. Uh, yeah. Stadium City. That really feels baseball like a made-up name. <laughs> it's like there's like. The, all the stadiums are there. I don't know. Sure. They're it's making it. Tracks. They're really revitalizing downtown in St. Louis, and it's pretty cool. Um, but we walk up to Baseball Village, and there's just a Pride Festival, and it was the best. Oh my god! Surprise Pride is surprise the best. Surprise Pride. It was so fun because I was just like, guys, Ballpark Village fettuccine. Oh, Thank okay. you. Baseball Village does <laughs> that. Sound like, that sounds like a hallmark, like a globe, <laughs> like a snow globe. <laughs> This is my baseball village wow. that I put out for the holidays. <laughs> it, that it is the world like series. A story that like a six year old is telling you, like, okay. And then they went to the baseball village and there was a blah, 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 and, they, and they, they, they were drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there were. Uh, but Excellent. we got Jay a very cool shirt. He wears it on the channel sometimes. It's that rainbow one where the green. I don't wear it anymore because the keys. Because out. the green oh, keys out, and I think it's funny. Yes, I remember. Okay, now. <laughs> um, and then I got this cool pastel St. Louis shirt from. Um, like a local boutique that was like nice. set up a little pop up. Yeah, that was I very cool. Couldn't find my rainbow shirt that I have. I've got this like parachute <laughs> rainbow like sweater that very much would you be too hot on this day. But it's so fun, and I couldn't find it. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Michelle, 
Uh, DePaulo, so happy to have you. She said that she's been following for a while, but this is the first thing I'm Hooray! with Vivian talking about. Uh, so hi. Welcome. Happy to have you on stream. <laughs> Gary <laughs> says, like when James Blonde, Blonde, I almost said, James Blonde. James, it's Blonde. It's his drag James name. Blonde. That's the Like when James Bond stumbles into the <laughs> Day of the Dead Festival Parade in the middle of an action sequence. Inspector, I haven't seen that. Film. I have, and I get that reference. Thank Crispy, you very much. thank you for subscribing. Oh, That's so nice. <laughs> Let's put some some things in the chat. What should go in the cookies in the chat? Oh, right, Crispy. Thanks. Bagels in the chat. We don't have those available for you. Find a bagel. Put it in the chat. Oh no. All right. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Cookies. <laughs> Cookie. Cookies are round. Cookie crisps for Crispy. Aww, that's cute. I like it. Let's put some cookies. We're gonna drink a lot of water today. Ooh, Martin. Secretly Blonde, the Legally Blonde Alternative Universe. Here's the thing. I would give so much money to see Reese Witherspoon as James, as Bond? James Blonde. James Blonde. Are you and familiar? And she comes in and she likes with so the Legally Blonde production that's happening in Hyde Park right now. No. <laughs> there is a person okay. playing Bruiser. Oh. A la Cats. <laughs> With Leotard. With or without a butthole. No, is the Unclear. <laughs> Haven't seen that part on TikTok. Oh um, but like full face dog makeup, like whole thing. I yeah. think it's just for like one sequence. Oh my god. But I'm obsessed with That's it. That's hilarious. Yes. Oh my god. I loved Legally Blonde when I was growing up. I That was like my one of my sick day movies. That and like oh Bring It On. Oh, it's I like Bring the, It On. I would cycle those <laughs> Sick day movies. Mine was Chasing Liberty. Oh, right. Always and Forever. Yeah. Um, which ends at the Berlin Love Parade, which is appropriate for today. Uh -huh. <laughs> I still oh, kind of want to go to the Berlin <laughs> Love Parade. <laughs> Although it looks hot. All parades look hot. They do. And or honestly, cold. they are hot. Why are there no parades in temperate climate? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. It's like That's Thanksgiving Day Parade where you have to be in a park. Chili, chili. And you're there or forever. Pride where you have to just be naked. You have to. It's required. Yeah. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> Happy Pride, oh. Crispy. Oh, it was probably fun. Happy Pride. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to make some rainbow bagels today. Yes. We're going to make them gluten free. We're going to mm. we're gonna do our darndest to make them edible. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I watched a video of how to make rainbow bagels. There's not a single video of how to make one gluten free. Yep. So then I watched different video of how to make a gluten free bagel. And we're going to hope. We're going to hope. We're going to hope and we're going to have some fun. We're going to yeah. play. That's, that's all we can do today. So let's talk about ingredients because we're doing some <laughs> stuffing out today. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> The recipe calls for yeast. Yeast. Which this is superior baking yeast. Yeast platinum. platinum. I don't, I've never used fancy yeast before. That's the one What's they the have the different town. Oh, okay. I think it's the same. It's a little more expensive, but it's just this red star. like. Normal. Okay, so it's just a little, all right. I've yeah. just never, yeah, cool. All right. It's just it's that we needed rapid, and I only have active dry, mm -hmm. and rapid is easier. Got it. And then we got some xanthan gum, which we've seen before. Yes. We which like I don't gum. actually use a lot. Most of my bread recipes don't call for xanthan gum, so I'm interested to see. Yeah. I've used it a couple this of gets times. gummy. I've thrown it in with almond flour. Which has like zero anything cohesive. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't used a lot of xanthan gum. Is it how much does it call for? A tablespoon. Okay, that's not that substantial. A, that's substantial. I've usually done like a. No, well, no, no. I might have done a tablespoon what does it before. Say? <laughs> xanthan gum for bread: three quarter teaspoon per cup of flour. We're gonna use less xanthan gum than the recipe said. I mean, yeah. I guess so. Worst case, it gets gummy. If yeah, we use less, crust. it doesn't cohere. Two teaspoons per cup of flour. But we're using, let's talk about my main girl, my favorite okay. ingredient, <laughs> my pride and joy. And that is psyllium husk powder. Psyllium husk powder <laughs> just makes things without gluten feel like they have gluten. You're going to see it in a minute. We're going to form it into a gel. Oh. <gasps> and then we put the, this cake of gel into the bread. This The recipe Ew. did not call for this. This is just how I use psyllium husk powder. Kimberly style. And my gluten-free bread, I think, is one of the best things I make. Um, so we're going to use psyllium husk powder. The warning for psyllium husk powder and my husband is that it's the main active ingredient in Metamucil. Oh, got it. So when I make bread, we have we call it fiber bread. <laughs> a little less nice than fiber bread. <laughs> but the rule is one, okay. one sandwich a day. Got it. Keeps you good. <laughs> Noted. So one bagel, and we'll be like set for the week. All right. Um, thank you for the chat. Sarah. 
That's Sarah. Yay! Magic powder gel. Are you here? I hope you're here. I hope it's going okay. I think the yeast has some dough conditioners that make the bread a little softer. Mm. Oh, it does say premium dough instant conditioner. yeast with dough enhancers. Oh, well, let's enhance that Do dough, Do you ever babe. read the books? Um, what's the name? But it's called like, and then he ate my boy in trancers. <laughs> it was this British like kids book series about this girl who thought she was ugly. Georgia something. Someone in the chat, Help. please know these books I'm talking about. They were like black and lime green, oh. 2002. Uh, yeah, I got nothing for you. I'm so uh, sorry. I'll but text Sarah Michelle if I can. Stuck in traffic. I'm so sorry. No. We're happy to keep you company while you are in traffic. And yes, this is a unicorn in the wild. I did not have enough flair today, so I was lent. She was provided with flair. I was provided with flair. Because <laughs> if you I can't tell from my kitchen and Jay's room, we've got lots of flair. We got the flair. We got the flair down. We got the flair. <laughs> We're calling for people. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Uh, the other so yeah. ingredients we have are potato starch. Potato the recipe starch. did call for this. I sometimes sub it out with tapioca starch. And the recipe buckwheat. The recipe called for brown rice flour, which I am out of. I do usually have okay. brown rice flour, but buckwheat is an optimal trade. Great. Why? I don't know. Okay. They're like the <laughs> same kind of thing. Buckwheat is a little more like if you get a crepe, if you go to a crepe place. Yeah. There's usually a buckwheat crepe, which is their yes, savory there crepe. Is. Okay. It's gluten free. Got it. Because it's made of buckwheat. <laughs> As opposed to wheat wheat. Yeah, I don't know. The honey grain. The tiny white flowers that beautifully, oh, that beautify the countryside <laughs> are the source of the prized buckwheat honey. Help us recall a time when buckwheat was a staple that energized America's pioneer men and women. <laughs> High in minerals like iron, potassium. Buckwheat has more vitamin B than wheat. Huzzah! In addition, health-giving buckwheat compares favorably with meat, eggs, and milk as a source of protein. Ooh, protein-heavy wheat. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sweet, sweet. All right, we'll play. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to play Anyways, with this today. I love it. Okay, good. These are all the things. We got all the things. So, so we got to <laughs> bloom the yeast, yeah, as step one? So because we're using instant yeast, we don't have we to don't. bloom anything. Um, but because I want to make the psyllium gel, mm -hmm. we're going to need to do that. As I put this out, I remembered uh, that, again, I don't have a half cup measurement. <laughs> and I need one and a half cups of warm water. Well, oh, wait, one and a quarter cups. Do I have quarters? I have thirds. Not helpful. <laughs> That's all right. I okay, think... does this have one and a quarter cup? Yeah. Okay. So, so wait, yes. One and, yeah, yeah, yeah. one and a quarter cup. Of warm water. Now, warm water usually is lukewarm water, meaning it's like 105 degrees, right? Yeah, so I usually just like put it... I pulled that right out of my butt. Is that correct? <laughs> I'm going to say usually between like 105 and 110. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, okay, do we want to measure it or do you want to just feel it with your finger and go... Well, this is definitely right? cold. Yeah. So I'm going to just... <laughs> If there are any British people out there that are going to get mad at me microwaving water, I don't care. It's too hot to boil. Wait we'll a to do it later. second. Why would they get mad at you for microwaving water? Because they're like, just put a kettle on. I don't know. People on TikTok are mad. <laughs> people on TikTok are mad when people microwave their tea. Uh, is it like microwaving tea that's already been teed? Or is no, it like water for their tea? What? They're like, don't Americans have kettles? Sometimes, but not always. Yeah. Microwaves are much more common. I don't get it. I know. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so... Sounds like Chester A. Arthur wrote that description. <laughs> Probably did. All right, so we are going to put some warm water, a little bit of honey. Where's the honey? Oh, we're going to use... Let's oh, wait. See. I'm going to I'm gonna deviate a little. I'm going to split this water in half. Oh, because of the blooming or the gelling? Yeah. There we go. One ten. That sounds great. I feel like... Okay. <clears throat> Chat, orange blossom or wildflower honey for our bagels? What is your opinion? Because <laughs> in the UK, you must boil water well, and then steep the tea. Steam says the UK has 230 volt outlets and their kettles work better. Fair. Oh. <laughs> this yeah, the like is so much faster. Gary, why? I don't understand. I'm so sensitive. Even me. <laughs> Love you. It's just a little odd when you grow up doing things one way, probably the same way people with a rice cooker feel when people use a pot to make rice. I get that. I totally get that. And I actually didn't grow up with a microwave. Have I ever told you this? No. My, I think my mom had a thing about radiation. I feel like, or like a, I, I don't know. I, I, that might have been what she told me. We just never had that. We didn't, we, we heated stuff up on the stove. We had a toaster oven. 
But okay. we didn't have a toaster toaster. So like that was our our whole oh. enchilada. I know. It's interesting. I'm still holding teas. Does anybody yeah. have an opinion? Orange blossom. Orange blossom. Cool. Mrs. Pasta says wildflower though. Oh, fat. Are we gonna I go think with we you might need both because we need two tablespoons. Great, we're gonna use both. Well, we'll use like yeah, a little bit of wildflower and more of the orange blossom. So I'm gonna do something kind of weird. Okay, we're just gonna dip the jars in the hot water for a minute just to, to, to loosen up bit. the honey. Hey, that's not weird. That's right. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is ask you to measure me the psyllium husk powder. Oh, we need a half cup, which seems like a lot to me, but well, I'm gonna trust the process. I, mean, I feel like a bagel's got a lot of flour to it, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so in a minute. <laughs> Sentimental. <laughs> so <sorry. rather. laughs> oh, wait, I'm just gonna need. Okay, so don't put it in there just yet. Okay. And actually, can we turn Charlotte on? Yeah. For the magic. Charlotte. Watch the magic. There Whoop. There's a jack. Okay. Super Chat Sarah gives it a tier one sub. Put Aww. some cookies in the chat for Martino Martini. <laughs> Martino Martini, enjoy your sub. Isn't that what the thing we were doing? I just oh, say yeah. it on one note. We just say it for, you know, yeah. Johnny One Note. We do the thing. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, Johnny One Note. Did you ever say that? Song? No, I did not. Oh. That was not one of mine that we overlapped. Okay, with. so I'm just going to do like some. Some, and then reserve just a little bit for the honey. Okay. And then, okay, what you're going to do is sprinkle the psyllium over this, and I'm just gonna stir real fast. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, this is fun, this is a new skill for me. And by skill, I mean, you're doing all of it. I'm learning. You can also use like flaxseed or psyllium like this um, to make DIY hair gel. Really? Yeah. That's fun. When I, for a little bit, was getting into making my own, oh, I'm just gonna need all the water, Yeah, we're gonna actually. need water. Okay. Um, there, yeah, there was a little while where I was getting into making my own soaps. Jay, remember that? Part of the pandemic? <laughs> we all oh, had a weird yeah. part of the pandemic. Yeah. How could I forget? Okay, yeah, this is like way more silly and husk than I usually put into bread, which makes more, but okay. Interesting. So anyway. I need to get my drink. Get your drink. My drink. A wild Jay appears. Use the emote. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Wow. Isn't that weird? That is weird. It's goopy and it, funny. You want to touch it? Texture like, time. Like, oh, texture. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Even it's not, for me, that's a little yeah. viscous. Blech. It's weird. <laughs> it's got it. Wait, I'm going to make it jiggle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to do a little. A little extra water? Yeah. <gasps> Gary gifted a sub. Thank you, Gary. To Billy in New Mexico. Enjoy your sub. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that that is ready, let's do honey in here. Okay, we're doing two tablespoons of honey, and then we need two tablespoons of the vegetable oil, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you see that? Mm, don't. Thank you. No. Two. Stay. I know, it's just sliding. Am I crazy? Did you guys hmm. tighten that? I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah, that was a good call put in in the warm water. Do we want to get, do we have a teeny spatula that's teeny enough? To get in there? Yeah, probably not. There might be like a red one. I don't know if it would be, oh, I missed the thing it started going. I'm oh, sorry, did you get my Cheetos while you were over there? Yeah. <gasps> yes, the red one. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, you like it in there? Yeah. That's not gonna happen. It gets too thick at the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Gary subscribed with Prime. Oh my god. For a Prime sub, give him a yeah, a cookie. A two time uh, pro tip. What do we have? A pro tip. Pro yeah. tips for Gary. Pro do tip for pro Prime. Tip? Um, That's whatever fun. emotes do we have? We need more. If anybody has ideas for emotes? Let us know. Because I came up with a lot while I was sick with COVID, but, you know. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. Got some. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So and we're then, doing a couple tablespoons of oil, a couple tablespoons of honey, and then a teaspoon of the Apple yeast. cider vinegar. Oh, of the apple cider vinegar. Okay. Mm. And most of my gluten-free breads do call for apple, apple, apple cider. Apple cider. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. 
Okay. I feel like I need it a little more. Yeah, sure. So. Okay. Okay. Outside and then the because acidic, and we need it to do a thing. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we can put all the dry stuff in this bowl. All right. So dry stuff goes in there. Wet stuff goes. It'll go right on in top there of it. Later. In a okay. Great. So a cup of buckwheat. Pop a book. All right. Here we go. The buckwheat. The buckwheat. <laughs> We'll just grab oh. this like it was a beverage. Oh, we forgot about ding ding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ding ding. The ding ding. Thank you. Oh, you even have your bell. All right. You said two cups? What was it? One cup. One cup. All right. This does really feel like regular flour. Yeah. It's a little like slimier. Okay. I don't really know how to <laughs> good say that. Point. Yeah. Okay. A half a cup of millet. All right. Yep. Did we ever figure out what a millet was? No. Is, is there a it's story on the back? <laughs> <laughs> Dear friends, at Bob's Red Mill, we take great pleasure in bringing wholesome, delicious foods like whole grain millet flour to your table. We search the world for unique and unusual... No, it doesn't tell us. And it's just whole grain, whole millet. Whole grain, whole millet. Cool. <laughs> apple cider vinegar shots. Those are disgusting. All right. You I thought of my milk? elixir in college. Apple cider vinegar, hot water, and honey. Yeah. Anytime I had a sore throat. All right. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Half a cup? Mm -hmm. Half a cup. Wow. Okay. Kind of yellow. It is a little yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of potato starch. Potato. Yuck. And then... A mean millet muffin. Oh. That's a fun thing to say. That is a fun thing to say. A mean millet muffin. Is it angry with you? <laughs> or is it just a little average? Yeah. Math joke. Uh, no? Uh, uh, uh. That was pretty good. That was song. <laughs> this isn't the Father's Day stream. Oh, you're right. I carried it over. I carried it over. I just have pride in my puns. Okay, a tablespoon of xanthan gum, <laughs> which again seems like too much. Let's do just a little under a tablespoon, maybe. Okay. Let's do a teaspoon. Maybe she thought what they meant. Because what does it say? How many cups of flour? One, two, two and a half ish, we'll say. Yeah. Well, that's so a lot. That's two teaspoons per cup of flour for pizza crust, which I feel like is that maybe. Pizza crust is not going to be as like chewy. Chewy. Bread says one to one and a half teaspoons. Let's just do mm. two rounded teaspoons of gum. All right. Gum. Okay. okay. Oh, and yeast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a tablespoon yeah, of yeast. Pardon. Okay. Do you ever need scissors? Oh, and we need salt in here as well. Is there not a pair of scissors in there? No, the they've gone missing. We could use the pizza cutter. <laughs> oh, there are scissors in here. <laughs> ah! Just not the scissors I was looking for. Will you actually grab the orange tablespoon? Yeah. Because this tablespoon is sticky. Ew. That's here. That's cold. All right. Okay, and the one. See, and this is why you should always measure things because that packet is just a little under. Oh, we need more. Salt, salt is the salt. blue shaker over there. I knew that. I just had a moment. And a little thing to always say is to do the salt and the yeast on opposite sides of the bowl. Because, because the salt they kills aren't yeast. friends. No. All right. Should How we actually? Salt? Well, it's one and a half teaspoons. That's a decent amount. I feel like I want to measure that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then I can do. You just do get yeah. The thing. Should we get the thing? Just to. If I know what drawer it's in, I'll find it. I feel like I remember seeing it in the mid drawer. Yeah, that one. Maybe not. Thought I did in the back. Oh, there's Aha! The back. I'm getting to know Kimberly's kitchen. Look at you. Better than Do you guys tell friends and family about Twitch shows channels the way you made a TV or streaming service show? Mm, a lot of my friends and family members don't Twitch. They don't understand Twitch. Correct. So Mine too. it becomes so like I tell them about it and then I have to teach them all the things. What the internet so like, is and Yes, but it, I do it only when I like am Available to be more of a help, yeah, on it. 
All right, so I did like a heaping one and we'll do a half. Okay, okay, great. Great. So then that's all our dry and it's on the opposite side. It's a little tilty. Okay. And so I have the dough hook on Tilly. All right, so Jade, we can lose Charlotte. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So I'm just gonna do a sort of a rough mix around. Give me the old rough mix around. Everybody do the mix around. Okay. Then into like that kind of well. Oops. We'll do the wet Ooh. stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. So we got the water, we've got the the gel. Yeah. And, and we're just throwing it in there. In. And we did learn last time that we can over mix, even without gluten. Yeah, although the dough hook I don't think will aerate quite the same way like a paddle attachment does. Oh, that's but a good we'll point. see. Ooh. Okay, let's just see how this comes together. We might add some more warm water. Okay. Hello from Norway. Oh my Tiger gosh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, 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 two. Peltaka says millet is a small seeded grass, most well known as bird pea. Well, <laughs> good for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So anyway, this is gonna look real weird until it looks good, and you really do just have you just to. You have to have faith. Trust it. All right. <laughs> Shooting in Pride yesterday in Oslo. Oh no. Ugh, that doesn't sound like that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can happen anywhere. I'm so sorry to hear that, Tiger. That sucks. It's like some makeup. You just got to trust the process. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. When in doubt, get glitter. <laughs> Which, you might be able to see, I have a little residual left over mm -hmm. <laughs> on my eyelids. Today I have a lot of only mascara because I am sweaty. It is a very sweaty day. It's hot. It's not too bad. We got the fan on. Hopefully that's not too distracting for you guys. <sighs> anyway. All right, so we're gonna give this a mix, and then we are then we need to divide it and color each portion, right? That's our thing. Yeah, I am gonna add some more hot water. I'm just gonna let this faucet get hot. All right, -ish. just let it sit out in a kitchen for a minute. <laughs> True. Uh, um, yeah, I uh, I saw another thing. I was reading about rainbow bagels as well that you could like color the wet ingredients oh, separately. Oh, that tasty video, yeah. Uh -huh. And then put them into, like, like portion out the dry ingredients. I and didn't know how to properly mixing. portion. That was, I, and I think the way that we did it with the gel and stuff, like, that would have been really difficult and also yeah. really hard to get the right consistency and the right amount of water. So not the way to go for us, but maybe if you're making a bigger batch or not doing gluten-free, that is another way to, like, make sure the, you know, coloring, I guess, is even throughout the portion of dough. So yeah, to make a rainbow bagel, we, we like are, are splitting up the dough before we bake it or do anything with it. We're mixing it together and then we're gonna split it up into portions and color each portion some, you know, probably what? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue? Yeah, I would say I saw most people do five colors. Yeah, red, orange, green, yellow, blue. Yeah, do we need any purple? I don't think no. purple. Blue's close enough. Okay, so then once you have it in separate colors, you can actually like, <laughs> braid it together or like loop it together and make the make the bagel. Oh, see what I saw people do oh. is roll it out flat. Oh yes, that was layer the thing I saw. Okay, and then you could do that as well. And then that seems like it might yeah, make let's it try that. that might make it a little yeah. easier. Okay, so now it's looking a little doughier. Yeah. Does it need to be needed at all? Is there, is there a is world in which it could needed. be needed? Okay, great. So a dough hook. Meaning hand needed, I guess. Is oh, there like yeah. a uh, I feel like we could do the uh, I mean, we can. Need the color in. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Although then our hands get. Texture time. Texture well, then, time. Also, we died. <laughs> All right. Clear out. All right. So it says to knead in a stand mixer for like three minutes. Okay. So while that happens, hang on. Other than you know, shooting some heat. General sad. <laughs> General sad. General sad. There's a lot of general sad going on in the world these days. I have a fun thing. My niece, who is eight and wonderful, has the Messenger Kids app, which means she can kind of text me. And she oh. lost her tooth. And she's been sending me messages about it, about like updates, how loose it was, how ready it was to come out. And then she finally lost it today. And she sent a weird gift to celebrate. It was pretty oh, adorable. 
What did the tooth fairy bring? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. I should ask. Oh, I gotta ask my brother and sister-in-law first if they did anything to the fairy. No one yep. else. <laughs> Blow out of their spot there. What you looking at? Oh, just the, the dough. Okay. It looks kind of like wool. It does look a little... Oh, yeah. It looks like, you know, it's Charlotte like, can show everyone. It's like felt. You know, like when people make like felt, uh, like burgers or animals. Have you seen those TikTok? Oh, where it's like, and they yeah. do like animation with it. So it's like. All right, we'll okay. let you lose Charlotte. All right. Ooh, sixty-five is a very reasonable temperature. Not Celsius for those outside of the U.S. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. So yeah, I do kind of like to feel dough with my hands. This is like one texture time I enjoy. Um, because then I kind of know if it's done. <laughs> Fair. So, oh yeah, and we're supposed to put oil on our hands for when we play with the dough, apparently. Yeah, a little oily. Because you don't want to add more flour. But you also don't want to stick to your dough. Yeah. And actually, let's... Okay. That's looking like dough. Yeah. See how it looks like dough? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, is it free. dough? Is it dough? <laughs> a new show for the gluten free called Is It Dough? <laughs> is it dough? <laughs> Actually, it would be pronounced Is It Dough? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good joke. That was good. Thank you. Okay, would you like to knead a little? Yeah. So the only thing with the psyllium that husk that I feel like we didn't have enough water to psyllium husk ratio in there to mm, start with. Mm -hmm. Is I'm just worried of little pockets of gel. <laughs> but when you eat it, you just go, oh, I can skip my Metamucil today. <laughs> okay, okay, help for my brain. Metamucil. Fiber. Is fiber, which makes you very regular. Yes. And if you take too much of it, makes you overly, makes you regular. overly regular. Got it. I was wondering if it, which direction it went, I guess, was, yeah. my, was my question. Does it feel good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's break it up. Should we measure? Or do you want to just yeah, kind of go? Away. Give it away. <laughs> All right. So. Let's weigh it. Math. Would you like to math? I would love to math. Uh, 1,052 Here, let's, grams. Do you want to do oh. pounds or ounces? Is that sure. What's easiest? Eh. Grams. Actually, yeah. Let's do grams. That's fine. And then we'll bring these guys in. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we want to do? Five. Yeah. 1,052 divided by 510.4. Yep. It's 210.4. <laughs> I used my yeah. phone. Amanda used her mind. I used my tutoring. <laughs> my tutors on that mail. Okay. Okay. So, we're doing five. I say, just gonna see where we're at. 150. One, 150 okay. on the dot. We want so we 210. Said 210. So we need, oh my gosh, my brain. Okay. 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 Ooh, 205. Yink. 210.5. Okay. Yeah. Keep measuring and I'll do the first color. Okay. Which I think should be, I kind of want to go, all right, let's do blue first. Actually, let's do the lightest colors first. I feel like yellow is not going to show up in this dough. Oh, that's a really good point. Should we do like so a should we do purple like or pink or pink? something? Pink? Yeah, let's do pink. Okay. 207. 210. Okay, I think Charlotte can come back, actually. That's a good idea. For the color. Pink. Oh, pink. Pink. 98. 213. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why is she so loose? I don't know. I can't figure that out. Shut up. Shut Yes. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. oh no. <laughs> what? What's that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> she just won't stay still. Yeah, that's not right. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we kind of... I have to use our hands. Yes. And then I'm going to get parchment paper. Okay. 
so that I don't <laughs> stain my countertop oh, that no. I rent. Yay! Oh geez, it'll be fine. Okay. This does not need to be this precise, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay. Okay. So that's all. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try Shark Tilly again. Uh, is there more parchment paper somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Actually, why don't we just get um, a silicone mat? Yeah. Okay. They're like under the. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Grabbing them all. Maybe a paddle attachment is what will make them easier. We're figuring it out as we go, cause we've never made this before. I do, I do, I do. Okay, I'm gonna try the blue. Okay. Alright, how much are we using here? That's about Sorry, what I did, yeah. Okay, great. Really, like, doesn't want to change colors. I wonder if that's like the buckwheat or the. This is definitely changing colors. My hands are yeah, blue. Yeah, why are yours so I good? I think I use too much blue. <laughs> I use about that much pink. Weird. <laughs> oh, I guess it's. <laughs> See, it's like. Oh, no! <laughs> Maybe we should have used gloves. <laughs> Oh no! Good. <laughs> Everything's going so well. Here, do, 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 do. Show me your guys' hands. I need to take a picture. Happy Pride! <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody. That's funny. What? I don't have Charlotte on. Just a heads up. Hi, oh, Shelby. Oh, well, let's move her right out of the way. <laughs> Shelby is going really well. We're making rainbow bagels. Um, kind of. Okay, it's a maybe more they're like an ombre situation. It's gonna be great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. To be green. fair, these are gluten free rainbow bagels, so there was only so much. Here's the thing: Do I <laughs> try? See what happens to your hands? Because <laughs> I've started in on the green. <laughs> are you having fun, Jay? Oh, this is great! What a hoot! <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Use a sponge. Oh, so. <laughs> Wait, which sponge? Not any of them. I mean, oh. Okay. I don't know why mine's not. My hands aren't getting as dyed as yours. Is very, very. <laughs> still very blue. Okay. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna. <laughs> Everybody remember that episode of Arrested Development? I blew myself. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right. Uh, should I try red? Red? Yeah. yeah. So then if it turns purple, that's still a color. Although I have a feeling this might be a little pink. Let's see what happens. I already have pink. I guess I can add purple Ooh, to this pink. It's going to look bloody. You guys are going to need turpentine. <laughs> turpentine, turpentine. <laughs> turpentine. <laughs> Step your knees up turpentine. Kick your knees up turpentine. We've got a little bagel gone. Oh my god, so this morning Adam and I were watching Animaniacs. Of and they did <laughs> the, the new one, the reboot. Yeah. Okay. And they did a, a new one? Yeah. They they did it and they're it's a delight. It's really fun. Okay, I um, think you need to like smoosh it out. Okay. And then like put the color in the middle. Okay. Let's try know. it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> hey, uh, so anyway, Animaniacs, and they did an Oliver Twist uh, slash Oliver the Musical parody, and like had a song that was, or like had song that's, songs that were nods to the real songs, and man oh man, it was so smart, it was so fun. Yeah, I have some have gloves running around. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we could have used like little plastic baggies. 
Yeah. yeah. Hindsight. No, I used them for Ooh. fake tans. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think marbled is going to be. Yeah, the okay, answer. last one. What do we think? Orange or purple? I think well, purple will right. show up more, right? What's our feeling, chat? This is the, <laughs> the rainbow. I think <laughs> orange or purple. I'm feeling orange. I feel All like right. I need it to yeah. be brighter. Does anybody disagree? I don't care. Too late. It's my stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Agreed>? right. <laughs> oh, good. They agree with me. Good. All is well. I'm a benevolent like. dictator. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Good charge. It's your stream. That's right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, huh. I get it. Yeah, I didn't want to tell them who shoes was, so I didn't. Uh -huh. Well, there you go. There you go. And we're not going to say. We're no. going gonna... to. Do we have a shoes in? Are you making us do a shoes in clue today? No, that was yesterday. Okay. There was one yesterday. It was pretty good. Oh, was it? Yeah. I missed it. I You'll was... see. I'll explain it to you. There's it's actually, there's, there's a fun, the clue in it is quite fun. Actually. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. What was I busy doing yesterday, Kimberly? <laughs> <laughs> Amanda spent the day working for me. I did. At my studio's dance recital. And she looked after some children. Some children. It was quite a hoot. We'll tell you all about it during tea time. Yeah. Now they look just dirty. Like I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dirt. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Fun. Fine. Now I'm going to try and wash my hands. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. I'm gonna grab a rolling pin yeah. and try and roll them into squares. Into they're submission, over, yes. They're next. They're underneath that. Dang it! They're in the napkin holder. Oh, yeah. obviously. It's because I was bragging about knowing your kitchen. <laughs> no one knows my kitchen but me. <laughs> it's kind of true. Yeah, it's chaos. <laughs> Kimberly, the recital was adorable. The kiddos danced. I thought you were telling me. Down. I was like, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kimberly. All right, let's see what we got here. So we're just rolling this out <laughs> into a, what, a rectangle? <laughs> yeah, into like a rectangle, basically. Okay. Like a, like a skinny rectangle, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe I'll do a little Oh, more. no, 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 like that. Oh, I was right. Yeah, you were right. But like thinner than that a little Obviously, bit. Obviously, yeah. Okay. All right, they're colorful. Yeah. You know... <laughs> It's a nod to pride, and that's really all we need, right? Yep. Okay. And now we'll roll out another one. Let's do orange next to it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Red, orange, yellow. <laughs> it's not going to be the first. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what, what? Oh, I thought we were doing it together. Mm -mm. I'm going to show you. Okay. Roll it out to be the same size. Mm hmm. Oh, and then stack yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. See, I saw one where they did it like that. Oh, and, and then, then like they did it up. up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I guess there are lots of ways to rainbow bagel, team. This was the only way I saw, but I only watched two videos. Wow. I mean, I was, yeah, I was looking at recipes too, so I may have also misunderstood. <laughs> Could very much happen. Okay. 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 Should we bring back Charlotte for this? Oh yeah. Or oh, Jay went away. So. Oh no. Can I figure it out? Let's see. You have to turn it's on there. No, I know. I was oh. gonna set it up first and then it would be the thing. Oh yeah, I think you just like hit Charlotte. Well that's not very nice. Poor Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I won't stay. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay. Yesterday as I or not yesterday, the day before, as I was like checking kids in and I had to, um, our dance recital was at a large theater in New York and so all the kids had to show either proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test Didn't beforehand. Didn't wasn't obvious. Uh, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was like, they submitted them in advance and then I would like go through their name on this master list and highlight them. This looks very cool. Oh, it does. <gasps> you. Hi, Bree. Welcome. We're making rainbow bagels. It's going fine. <laughs> it's going fine. No notes. This isn't dirt. <laughs> this isn't... Uh, I don't know. Jaundice? <laughs> <laughs> Illness? 
Um, oh, but the amount of times I like someone like submitted their vaccine info and then I had to like highlight them on our list that I was just going A B C D E F G. <laughs> Adorable. Thank you. Yeah, they're pretty adorable. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. The Who knows? Goodbye. All right. It does look like it could be henna. That's a good point. Have you ever gotten henna? Um, like henna tattoos. Yeah. Obsessed as a youth at Six Flags. Would always get henna tattoos every time I went to at Six Flags. Six Flags? Yeah, Six Flags for the, the beach. beach. <gasps> like instead of a hair wrap, you get a henna. Oh, that's cool. Me and cool. my friends would just get our um, like our initials on our ankles. Cute. And then she got it really tattooed on her 18th birthday. Oh my. Like a real one. That's and then I did, did not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I my cousin got married uh, in the mountains in like 2004 or 2005. And we all got henna as the, the like, we, uh, my sisters and I were singing in it. And we dressed up like, like, like wood, wood fairies, nymphs. Like we were all in white and we like sang on a rock and had henna on our arms. And it felt very, it was like, it was a very ethereal <laughs> stylized wedding. It was very fun. What are we doing? Okay. So now we're going to like cut it into strips. Okay. And like then strip, like. Strip, strip, strip. Or strips. I can't decide. Oh, okay. And then roll them in bagel. So that feels like this then. Right? Yeah. Okay. Should we do like half then half? Sure. And we'll get. Yeah. Then we'll get one, four. One, two, three, four. Four big bagels? Yeah. I'm happy with that. That's what it says it makes. Is that hard to get off? What? The, oh, henna? Yeah. Henna, henna lasts for a while and you have to do, I think like. Let's make it last lemon. longer. Yeah. You can do lemon, but then my. One friend's grandma always, ooh, he's a rainbow. Okay, this is very fun. Okay, and then you like, maybe Give it roll a twisty. them, or should we twist first? We can do two different ways and then decide what we like. Okay, so twist. <laughs> okay, it's, it's breaking a little bit, so I think it might be better to roll first. Okay. Yeah, just to make it more cohesive. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here, I can like twist oh. and roll. With the old twist and roll. Can we have Charlotte back? This is oh, fun yeah, stuff. The twist and roll. This is fun stuff. Everybody do the twist and roll. <laughs> eh. It feels like a screw is loose in there. Yeah, that's something's what's happening. happening. Charlotte's got a screw loose. <laughs> Charlotte. I will not beat you though. Oh my god, Kimberly! That looks so cool. Yes, please. It's uh this. Uh, I think I got it. No, it's not. Mm -mm. Huh. It's like it's like an actual. Can you see my bagel? Oh my god, that's, that's a gorgeous so bagel. That's so good! Oh, I think I know how to fix it. I just gotta, um... You have to remove it? Uh... Okay, when the bagels are ready, I'm gonna put them on this pan. Okay. Woohoo! There we go. Yeah! She's fixed. Oh, thank you, Jay. You're very welcome. Thank you, Fett, for the wild Jay. Okay, I didn't quite get the ends together. Yeah. Those are really good girls. Yeah, we're Thank doing you. it. A marble. Right, where is this living? It's over. It's on top of the coffee maker, obviously. <laughs> Naturally. 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 Oh my huh. god, this is so fun. Okay, and we're rolling twisting. Uh. Here, I'm gonna go like this. Actually, see if it like. <laughs> Do you hear the note of yeah. surprise in Jay's voice? Yeah, Jay was like, it's okay if it fails, bro. It's okay if it fails. And honestly, it'll be, it'll be better that way. We're here to have fun. You know, it's like if you're having fun, we're having fun. I'm and just... we are. <laughs> and also, it's going great. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Bagel. That's a, that's a legit rainbow bagel. I am so proud of us. I am wow. very proud of us. Hot damn. Hot damn. Okay, and so now. Well, what? I'm nervous that's gonna teeter. Oh, just bring it over here because okay. now we're done. <laughs> okay, so now it says to put them in a warm oven to rise, but my kitchen is a warm oven. It is a warm oven. It is so warm in this here kitchen. Okay, so I'm gonna put them there just the like that. Okay. Let's take a before shot, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Did you? Wait, sorry. Wow, who did it? Who did it? I'm I did so it! Proud of us. Okay, and I'm just gonna put these <laughs> over here where okay. it's warm. Okay. Say goodbye to Charlotte. Tea towel. All right. 
And then we'll have some tea time. Yeah. Right, this feels warm enough, or is the oven warmer? I mean, the oven might be a little warmer, but I feel like it is warm. We can turn off the fan, I guess. Yeah. I'm trying in vain to wash my hands again. <laughs> I usually put stuff in my microwave to rise because I find that that's the warmest spot in my house. Interesting. But right. I don't think there's... <gasps> she fits! fits! Perfectly. Where she fits, she Everything's fits! Everything's coming up, Kimberly. Kimberly's in the chat for Kimberly. <laughs> and I'm going to set a timer for 35 minutes. Yeah, Brie, we use gel food coloring. The little, it's a favorite day brand, and we use Target brand. It's Target brand. <laughs> <laughs> we used what are these? Red, pink, green, blue, orange, which seemed to be a good rainbow. It's a solid rainbow. Yeah, give it's me a marble chat. rainbow. It's not quite solid, yeah. <laughs> but, it's, hey, you know. but they look cool. All right, we're just gonna I, both go like this, this for a little is while. Not, and then it's I have not iced budget. tea and cold snacks. Yay! Cold snacks is cold the key. Snack. And pineapple Fruit. and grapes. I have ice cream that you started eating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you left it there. You All did right. Not, you did not Team, it. any tips on how I might remove this sludge from my fingers on stream? <laughs> Hand sanitizer? Hey, Neverland, happy pride. We're making rainbow bagels. You came just at the point where we have put away the, the fun. <laughs> but we're still here. Rewind. <laughs> Can you rewind a stream? I don't you can. I don't know either. Once it's posted, obviously you can. But uh, anyway, we just put the rainbow bagels in for a prize. They're there for what? Thirty minutes? Um, bagels rise. They're, I I don't know, 35, 40. until they've nicely puffed. <laughs> We're waiting for that nice. We're waiting. Puff. <laughs> I'm on You're fire. Fire. <laughs> on fire today. Also, I want cheese puffs, so I brought them onto the counter. That's Is that fine. okay? Yeah. <laughs> They're both of our favorite foods. Yeah, we've discovered a, a shared love of cheese puff. Does anybody prefer the regular Cheetos, or do we have some fellow puff lovers? Because apparently we're weird. Yeah. We're liking a puff, or as I call them as a youth, a cheese doodle. A cheese doodle? Because I think that's like either the generic brand or like the Philadelphia brand. Oh, okay, fair enough. I don't know if I ever did a cheese doodle. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's play the game. Will the food coloring come off my counter? Oh. Yes, it will. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, it's good. We're good. We're good. What did you spray the counter with? Should I spray my hands with it? Uh, Mr. Clean Clean Freak Cleaning Mist? Yay, maybe not. <laughs> That's all right. It'll come off with the uh, love. Yeah. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Flame okay. and hot regulars. Oh. All right. Fair enough, Martine. That does sound delicious. I think I'm too hot today for anything flaming. Agreed. Woo! All right. Ugh, this is just like water. <laughs> yeah, I'd love some iced tea. Mm. So it is time for tea time. Feel free to throw some tea time emojis in the chat. Use the Um. Ooh. <sighs> Sitting down, man. So I got completely wrecked working for Kimberly yesterday. Well, she you. is. While, Thank she, you. while she's busy prepping this, I'm going to just tell you that this woman is a ridiculously impressive human being. <laughs> the amount of things that she was puppeteering yesterday, the amount of moving parts, the amount of chaos in the form of under five-year-old children. <laughs> oh my good lord, there were like... I. I kid you and not. I gave you the good ones. You did. You gave me good ones. And I still was wrecked. I was so tired. I got home and just like, like moved myself into the shower, got the sticky off of me because there were lollipops and therefore there was sticky. And then probably sat on the couch. How glad were you sometimes that there were lollipops? I was so glad for the lollipops. The lollipops were a game changer. And then, uh, Oh, yeah, they were a good motivator. I had crayons. I had crayons and I had things to color. I ended up tracing the, <laughs> the picture through the back. So I did it. Print enough. Listen. <laughs> Again. Coloring sheet. You are a superhero. I have no idea how you did that. That was insane. It was, it was incredible. We had, so, okay, give me stats. How many children were there yesterday? 365. 365. And they Between were four different shows. So the first show had 95 kids. The second show had 87, the third show had 70, and the last show had 
75? Now, the first show, like 15 of those were sitting in the audience with their parents. We also had some no-shows. Have you ever not gone to your dance recital? Oh, yeah, that's weird. Who are you? Yeah. There was one poor kid, one little girl that had to dance by herself. Her whole class I was telling Jay up. about her today because she is a kid who comes to class once a week, tears, cries, sure. screams, potty training, has had accidents in okay. class. Before she was potty training, her diaper exploded. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad you told me that as I put something in right. my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um... And so this little, so she was in a private class. Mm-hmm. Only three of them signed up for the recital. Mm-hmm. And we were just like, they like paid for a private class. Like we're not going to double them up with someone. Her two friends don't come to dress rehearsal. But at dress rehearsal, everyone who's learning the same dance, because there are five, they're not getting an personalized dance. Sure, sure. So each four show, each four shows, like the same numbers happen and right. over, over and over again. Just different kids are dancing them. So at dress rehearsal, she's up there with like 10 kids. Living her life, having a good time. Her brother's a menace, but it was okay. <laughs> um, and then she shows up to the recital, and I texted my boss the night before. I was like, hi, what if they don't come tomorrow? And Reese is alone. I shouldn't have said it. Well, you don't know who this kid is. Um, what if this girl's alone? Lo and behold, I'm checking everyone in. This girl is alone. Baffling. Why didn't they come? If they came to the re- dress rehearsal, why didn't they come? They That's didn't insane. come to dress rehearsal. Oh, I thought you no, okay, okay, so okay, I, like, we oh, had okay, a heads up that this might happen. Got it. Okay. But she didn't come to dress rehearsal. Okay. I yeah. thought they came to the dress rehearsal and then <laughs> bailed on no, the actual one, recital. Two people. No, one person did that, but told us in advance. They were okay. just like, "Well, we are traveling that day, so we'll come to dress rehearsal, but she won't be at the recital." Everyone talked like that and was dressed like Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. Tribeca. <laughs> 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 yes, very much so. Um... And she had the time of her life. Yeah. She literally, because I went up and watched, because I was like, I cannot not watch this yeah, kid yeah, yeah. who is dancing by herself. I just oh need to God. make sure that it's okay. So that at checkout, when I hand her to her mom, mm-hmm. I'm just like, she had fun. And she did. Had the time of her life backstage, telling everyone stories. But she gets on stage with her teacher, just her and her <laughs> teacher. This child is two and a half, maybe almost three. <laughs> like, the music starts. She's like, why am I alone? And then she's dancing to When You Wish Upon a Star. Aww. And then it, she just puts her arms up and then does one kick, just one bat ma, and yeah. the audience starts to clap because Aww. she's alone. And they're like, woohoo, like so cute. And she just goes, <gasps> and the star is born. <laughs> and that little girl chewed the scenery for the rest of her yes! 30 second dance oh routine. Oh my God. All right. So, speaking of chewing the scenery, I, this is what I was thinking about all day yesterday. I was a child dancer, I did ballet, I did tap, I did jazz. I was a ham from a very young age. This may surprise you. (laughs) Um, And I, like, from a really young age, was the one on the stage being like, oh, yeah, like, really going for it always. And my parents (laughs) would sit in the audience and people would be like, is that your daughter? (laughs) Wow, she's really into it. Like, wow, she's got some presents. Like... (laughs) My dad tells it to me now, and he's like, I knew you would be a star, you know, like, but of course my dad did not know I would be a star. <laughs> he did, he had some resistance to me being oh, no. an actor, but like, from jump, I was the hammiest of hams, and I freaking loved, mm-hmm. like, getting to chew the scenery, and getting to, like, do the thing full out, and be like, I oh, practiced yeah. this, I had no shame, I had no, like, I feel like I would be, it up. I was one of the kids that was, like, embarrassed in class to be full mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. I was, like, didn't want my friends to judge me, but, like, the day of the show, I was just, like, they can't see me, only the audience can. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh. Do yeah. you remember your first dance recital? And did you have flashbacks yeah. yesterday? I did have flashbacks. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember enough of it to, like, say yes, I remember. I've got, like, flashes. Mm-hmm. Like I can remember putting on my shoes and I can remember admiring the way that I had the tutu. Like the only tutu, the tutu I had forever was the one that dance teachers had. So it wasn't like a tutu. It was just like a skirt. So mm-hmm. that's all I ever had. So we never really had costumes or anything fancy. Oh. Um, a real studio. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, we were, you know, it was suburbs, Colorado in the nineties. Mm-hmm. We were fine. We did what we yeah. did, but it was a small studio, and we had probably eight people in one recital. Aww. So it was a very different experience. <laughs> um, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> but yeah, I uh, 
I remember like admiring how it looked. I remembered like my mom helping me pull my hair so freaking tight and like do the tightest bun known to man. And then I had this little lace bun cover that had little sparkles on mm. it. That was very fancy. Dreams. Oh yeah. <laughs> what about you? What was your first one? Um, I found my costume recently. I'll maybe post a picture in Discord about it. Please do. It. Please do. Because it was like, um, you know, sequined on the sides, mm-hmm. floral print spandex, 1992, <laughs> if you can imagine. Like, I was three. And from what I remember, oh and I, from, I can't remember if it, like, this happened at dress, I cried dress rehearsal and the day of the show. Sure, sure. And I, there are two different reasons why, and I don't remember, but... The first one, which I think was dress rehearsal, because I remember the eyes being empty. I must have gotten new shoes for the show Aww. that were a size too big so that I could grow into them. And I bought my, bought my, my ballet shoe clear off into the audience and just froze and started crying. Yeah. And I used the skirt of the costume to dry my tears Aww. on stage. Because <laughs> I was the kid that like, needed a tissue if yeah. I was crying. I don't know if you saw me yesterday. Anytime somebody was crying, I brought them a tissue. I did. I was like, do you need tissue for your tears? Do you need tissue for your tears? I had one teary girl who just needed a nap. She was so sleepy. Mm -hmm. And she just started bugging. She just went, Mm -hmm. mom. I was like, ooh, she'll get to dance for her soon. Isn't that happy? I know. This one girl, like, it worked every time I showed her a picture of the audience from the show before. Her mom wasn't in the audience. (laughs) But I was just like, look at where mommy is. She's right there. And then you'll be up there on the stage. And that's where mommy is. And she goes, okay, okay. Now and I'd go in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. That was the question I got the most yesterday. Is when's it our turn? Yeah. <laughs> when do we get to go dance? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because again, there were like oh, and you got to watch hundreds. two of the shows. I or did. One, I got to watch a little bit. Yeah, the first one. Adorable. Adorable. The budding ballerinas. Oh the first God. ones that go up with their parents. Oh, they were so cute. They were so little. And then all of the, the kids that I was with, that was my group, were like, "Why are they called bunnies? They're not white. They're not wearing white. What is this?" They were so upset by it. <laughs> That class, I'm obsessed with those kids. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're just like, what's this? They were they're like very adults. judgy. Yeah. Yeah. They're That's grown hilarious. adult women. Yeah. But they're four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, when Kimberly talks about her job and her recitals in particular, just know she's a very impressive human being. It was, it was, it was a lot. And I was very overwhelmed. It is a from jump. <laughs> <laughs> months and months work of organization to yeah. make sure. That everyone could just and you know what sit with a group of children until they're told to move to a different place with the children. It was really smooth. In like Thank you, in I the, felt like it was very successful oh and like God. as smooth as it could possibly have been. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I say I was exhausted and overwhelmed, it was because I was dealing with you know small children all day and like just a lot of moving parts and a lot of yeah, like, and it's a lot of energy. There was a lot. Yeah, yeah, like but emotional energy with from the perspective age. of like things moving like a well-oiled machine. It was very impressive. Thank you. Yeah. That was awesome. the goal. Yeah. Good. The goal to impress me. That's, that's why you brought me in. That's why. Yeah. I was like, I want to manage to see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> what I always forget and what impresses me about myself <laughs> at the end of the day is when I love who you are, is when I'm checking all these kids out at the end of the recital. Like like I said, 90-ish children and their at parents their parents are coming one at a time mm-hmm. to pick up their child. And I literally know all of them incredible i just kept looking in and like i would say and then the, um miss whitney who was there would like kind of yell their name miss whitney the had quite a belt on her she is girl yeah. knows how to yell and like boy was it warranted sometimes yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, she'd be like in the kids like in the back candace yeah. <laughs> like Woof. um and so i was just like but she yelled one time and i was like she's sitting right there like there were a few times yeah. where i was like Oh, right, Davey. Okay, she's right there. Okay. Yep. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Yep, she's right there. You can see her. So they can see you. They can see you. And we, like, make this whole thing about, like, make sure you, like, eye contact for da 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 and you find everyone. And I'm just, like, I physically know all of these children and all of their parents. Unless I only know their babysitters. But. What? <laughs> which is a different thing. Try that, that. <laughs> um, But I literally was just, like, how did I know all of these names? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. And there were lots of repeats. Lots of. Multiple Siennas. Mm, multiple Siennas is very popular. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. What is your... I talk about today all the time that yeah. I have, like, front row knowledge of yeah. the names that are trendy right now. That is... Ooh. Yeah. Sloan. Sloan. We have Sienna. Paloma. Two Palomas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else were repeats? So there's a repeat Taylor, but that's not new. 
Yeah. Uh, let's see what other. There was a Harper, who was a character. There was a. What were some other interesting names? Um, the other people. It's the freak show. Yeah, uh, that that like, oh, yeah. I don't know what that means. Oh, troll. Yeah. Barbara. All right. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Yeah. My nice ballet teacher you. had trouble telling us apart by name or faces, but the studio, when she could see our feet, no, but in the studio, when she could see our feet, not one mix up ever. <laughs> that is that's hilarious. That's amazing. Well, and that tells you that teacher's paying attention to the good stuff. Well, what I want to say, King Kiss Connie. Connie. Aw, well, thank you for thank the stuff. Thank you. Gene the Wilson, Shark Fin, Karma Squabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your subs. Enjoy your subs. Yeah, I don't know what that song was. I don't know. <laughs> Cool, cool. Can we get Jay? I don't know. Jay Bird. Hey, Jay. Can Putting you in for maximum a effort in looking like fools. I see yeah. us. I think so. I don't you know. Control for us. Hunter Sorrow, what are you? Are you being nice? I think you're maybe not. I can't tell. What's going on? Check out Hunter Sorrow. In the chat. There you go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Jay. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Genghis Khan games. Yum, yum. Um, we were talking about weird names. Weird names. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember the, there was this, there was a lot of really beautiful names. So there was a lot of, there. I was like, oh, that's a really interesting name. <laughs> oh, Edith. No, I can't remember. Edith. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love her. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm tutoring an Esther this week. Wow. Oh, we like, have an Esther yeah. that goes by Esty, which oh, I think is really cute. cute. I like that. Um, one girl brought her Pokemon card binder and I had to tell her she couldn't bring it backstage because they're not allowed to bring anything with yeah. them because we will lose it. Yeah. I, and I was just like, okay, show me all of your favorite Pokemon and then show me Eevee and then, like, you have to give your Pokemon cards right back to your mom. Yeah. And she goes, but it matches my dress. And it did. It was, like, black and red and she was in that black and yes. red dress. Oh, my God. That's one of my girls. Yeah. Maybe. Well, uh, might have been. In the last show? No. Okay. I had purple in the last show. I didn't have oh, any yeah, You had just those, like, three chill girls. Yeah. You were supposed to have the world's cutest twins, but uh, they didn't show up. They didn't show. Yeah. We only had three. <laughs> Do you get a lot of Zoe's? Um, a few. I feel like there were a lot of Zoe's like two years ago. Mm, interesting. I have so many Zoe's. Yeah, maybe you teach just above where the I am. Older, yeah, what, 11, 12 year olds? I have like one Zoe in our whole school. Yeah, but I don't, I uh, oh no, there was a Zoe there yesterday. She was a budding. Yeah. 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 And her last name starts with a Z too, so she's a superhero name. That's yeah. cute. I like that. Um, lots of Sloan's, mm-hmm. Sienna's, Serena. Mm. Mm-hmm. S's are really popular, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Evie, like all versions of Evelyn and Eleanor are really popular. Oh, Ellie, I have an Eleanor, Evie. yep. There also, one. one of the Eleanors you had, I think, goes by Nora, mm. which I love. Also had a female mm-hmm. Noah, NOA. lot of Noahs, just NOA. Yeah, NOA. Really simple, really straightforward. Mm-hmm. I, did, I liked it, it was nice. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of them. There used to be one in her class, two oh. Noahs. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that was that was our day yesterday. I got home and uh, shoveled Honey Nut Cheerios into my face. And I shoveled these on, into my face. <laughs> later on, I ordered Indian food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because we I ordered... was like still hungry, but I was like, I can't cook. Do you ever order from the chicken? Oh, right. That's where we got. Yeah, yeah. Good. They're so good. good place. Yeah, just a half chicken and a Caesar salad. It's just like all I wanted. Nice. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, but I, I housed Indian food. And then promptly fell asleep until about 10 p.m. And then was like, I'm on the couch. And I was <laughs> covered in blankets. Like, I don't, for whatever reason, I just, like, needed to feel snuggly. But, like, of course it was so hot. So I'm, like, I had pillows and blankets everywhere. And I was just like, well. And then Adam walked in and was like, hey. <laughs> like, what's going on? And, like, I had, t- like, TV going. Like, I was just out. And I woke up and I was like, Bleh. like. Oh, I'm so out of it. And I, like, went on all fours. I was so tired. And then I went to bed. Oh, yeah. I, like, yeah. limped my way. Jay made me take an Advil before bed and was like, do you yeah. want to just go get in bed? And I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. it's like, took a cold shower, just kind of limped my way to bed because I, yeah. Do you want to know my stats for yesterday? Please tell me From, stats. I, I screenshot my, like, like, Garmin watch. Oh, right. Okay. Yesterday's stats. Wait, where is it? Here we go. <clears throat> My favorite Garmin stat is that it tells you how stressed you were. And, but and so I want you to know that yesterday and all of that, I was only had six minutes of high stress. Wow. And ten minutes of medium stress. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Unless I just wasn't sitting still enough for it to like measure my stress long enough. 
Mm, anyway, halfway through the day, I got a buzzer that my weekly exercise goal had been met. <laughs> like, weekly minutes of exercise. And I was like, I have not exercised. And I hadn't worn the watch all week. No. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. So that's just now. Um, okay, so 19,093 steps. 52 flights of stairs. Up. <laughs> down 40. Oh, my God. Because there's a spiral staircase that yeah. takes you from the house to the backstage. Um, and I burned 2,834 calories. And I, you not, lost a pound this morning, so. Oh my god. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. I feel like I barely saw you, because I was yeah, just like, Yeah, you were in a boom, 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 boom. Yeah. That was nuts. Yeah. And then Whoa. every time there was, like, a lull, I was just like, what's going on? What's going on? Mm-hmm. And nothing was really going on. Yeah. It was really nice, actually. That one poor slum. <laughs> Who's like, I think her mom just got her from the stage. Hmm. Um, oh. I know I felt so bad. Oh well. I mean, if that's the only yeah. thing that that goes wrong, then like, yeah, that's a win. Then little lady became a star. Yeah. When I, at dismissal, I was like, our principal soloist, <laughs> come on out. Cute. And her mom just goes, and I was literally because I was just like, this could be bad if the mom was like unhappy that she was alone. Well, yeah, I might have been pissed. My mom's, I just told my mom, she goes, how nice for her parents and her. Because <laughs> all the pictures are this girl. There you go. That's the spirit. Um, yeah. And I turned to the mom and I was like, she has had the time of her life today. She is like the mayor of the whole room. <laughs> like she had so much fun. And the mom was like, thank God, because I would have been mortified if that was me. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, nope. She was living her life. Amazing. Okay. Let's take a. Yeah. I was just going to say, let's, let's look at our, see how puffed they are. Okay. Should we compare to the original picture? Ooh, those look puffy. Whoa. They look nicely puffed. They do. Me? Okay. You know what? Those feel good to me. Yeah. Are they like tied together enough? Or are they going to fall apart? I think they'll be okay, but let's put them back in the microwave and maybe start the pot of boiling water. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So next step here. <laughs> What? He says, dang, bagels. We yeah. made bagels. Rainbow bagels. We're doing it. We're yeah. done. And they are good. big boys. Yeah, this whole recipe makes only mm-hmm. four. <laughs> and as we said, what was it, two and a half cups of flour? And like, yeah. It's <laughs> a lot. It's very similar ratios to the loaf of bread I make. So. <laughs> Listen, bagels are delicious. Mm-hmm. I have no complaints. All right, so we need to boil bagels. Basically, it's like... On each side, it's like about a minute, right? And it's then, like 30 seconds per side. Right, but, so it's about a minute. Total. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess the idea of boiling it is what gives it the skin. Yeah, so that makes it, it that like makes it, That differentiates it between regular bird. Bird? Bird oh. bird. Yeah. They it's, are chunky boys, cheese. Yeah, similar yeah, yeah. to a pretzel. Oh, um, bye, Camila. Ah. I hope everyone just saw that Cheeto <laughs> situation. Look, watch it. What? <laughs> I just pushed it into my tooth. That's not how you eat a Cheeto. No, you gotta just pop it right in. That's a All right. Bye, Camila. Thanks for being here. Bye. <laughs> beers, of course. Not bears. Bears, not beers. Beers, not bears. Bears can be fun. Mm-hmm. Happy yeah. Pride, bears. Happy Pride, bears. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. <laughs> oh, I love a bear. Okay. All right, so we're doing boiling water, and we're going to put stuff in it, right? We're going to put honey in it. Molasses. Molasses. No, right. Different thing. Okay, I'm going to boil so, it first, I think. This is my molasses that I brought down, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how not to make it be leaking all the time and sticky. So it is sitting over there on the all you need is love plate. Also, happy pride. Mm-hmm. But, uh, oh, I don't like the smell of mol- molasses. Do you? Something about it. It's just a little too strong for me. You smell it. Oh, yeah, no, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's not this molasses, yeah, right? This is just original. It smells like food. It smells like, like, a, like it's fuel or something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Or like a fart. Yeah. Because <laughs> wasn't it a byproduct that we just use now? Is it? I don't know. Oh, anyway, how much of it are we putting in there? I think it's like two tablespoons, but maybe once it's already boiling, I'm not sure. Okay. Ooh, I love gingerbread cookies. Yeah, gingerbread cookies are great. Hi, Carmus Clavin. Hmm? Yeah. You know, the stone turn. Oh. Oh, sorry, Captain C. Yeah, Jay was readjusting the camera for us because we stood up. Sorry. 
Um, okay. So we're doing a little molasses in the water, and I think the sugar does something to like coat it, give it some or other. Yeah. Molasses yeah. history. <laughs> nice. You didn't think you'd be coming to our scene today with the history of molasses, but here we are. Here we are. What is the origin of molasses? Molasses is a thick syrup that people use as a sweetener. It's a byproduct of the sugar making process All right. and comes from crushed sugar cane or sugar beets. Ah. First, manufacturers crush the sugar cane or sugar beets to extract the juice. Let's continue. Fair enough. All right. So anyway, we're going to boil some water. We're going to put some molasses in it. And then we're taking each bagel and we're doing 30 seconds on each side. Give it a little flippy poop. 30 seconds. And then from there, we bake it. And mm -hmm. it bakes right away, right? Should we have the mm. oven preheated? Yes. <sighs> 400, It's going to get so sweaty. Oh, God. <sighs> Welcome. All right. I mean, All right. this is just where we're at. We're going to get sweaty. It's going to be hot. We're uh, going to probably need to sit down and drink more iced tea again, I think. Mm -hmm. And just rub pineapple on ourselves. <laughs> Oh, right. uh, first, Carmen's manufacturers. Got, like, crunchy Cheetos. See, I just mm. really like the puff. I don't know. It's very satisfying. It's a good mouthfeel. What do you got? First, manufacturers crush sugar cane or sugar beets to extract the juice. Then they boil down the juice from the sugar crystals. Molasses is the thick brown syrup left over after they remove the crystals from the juice. It does not sound appetizing, mm -hmm. but yay, let's use all part of the buffalo. Also, if you ever don't have brown sugar, you can just add some molasses to your regular right. sugar. Yes, you said that and, before. And like ish, it's the same. <laughs> Open the freezer and put the face in. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Carmo awesome. Squabbit is a fun name. Hello. Yeah, I like that. I love a squabbit. So my mm -hmm. uh, church camp that we went to as kids, um, it's like a in the woods in Colorado Springs and I'm lots of like cabins and yurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and lots of trees and lots of squabbits and it like we didn't really have squirrels we didn't really have rabbits we had squabbits and they were little black and Wait. that's the only place i saw them and they were so cute i didn't know that that was a thing i just thought it was a well, fun a word that they is made a thing. it's a squirrel rabbit they're so cute they're so cute i'm finding it one for you jay's looking it up right now i bet because he wants to know what that means squabbit yeah squabbits are adorable and they're yeah. you know yeah it's a real thing did you also know that we have squirrels because we just let our pets free <laughs> yes squabbit it. It's got those, ears. Yeah. Those are so cute. Aren't they fun? Oh. I that, want one. That's not what that is. <gasps> Let's see. They, they do exist. They're real things. The the black, black one that we just looked at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, guys, like that. Aren't they so cute? Yes. Those squabbits. Oh my goodness. Google a squabbit for just a little happy. Thank you, Karma. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Love Colorado Springs. Yeah. I grew up um, a little south of Denver, so we... Colorado Springs was pretty close. My sister went to Colorado College, so we spent some time out there. I'm going to move this on top. Um, I'm so over there. Oh, so yeah. we can look at the They're smart. boiling. Yeah, do it, Martine. <laughs> Report back. Uh, they don't have bunny tails. They do have, like, bushy, squirrely tails, but they have little bunny ears. They're seriously cute. I know. Oh, well, I know. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that working? Do you need help? Okay. Uh, I never remember which way to turn it. I think I'm going the wrong way. That is correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I go the other way. This way? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Technology. <laughs> is this even technology? This part is like a I don't mechanic. Know. Manual labor. <laughs> you can also just hold it because it's only a minute for each bagel. Yeah, but then they like. Huh. I feel like. The last time we were holding it, it's a little shaky. Fair enough. Okay. And then we can like put them here to dry off after their bath. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great sushi in Colorado Springs. You know what, Foot? You're not wrong. Great. There, Colorado has some really decent sushi. There is a, oh gosh, it's, um, oh, I'm going to forget the name. Ah. It's a, I keep wanting to say Hiltaku, because that's the name, it's not that. Hapa Sushi. Uh, in... If there's one in Denver, and then there's one, like, kind of nearby Denver that I always go to, and they have the multiple orgasm roll <laughs> that is just so freaking good. It's my What's favorite thing. In? Yes. What? Yeah, what's in it? What's in it? Well, let's see. It's, uh, well, it's crunchy, and it's also, like, covered in mayo. Yeah. But, but it's, like, 
God, I don't even remember now. I feel like I want to look it up. Um, it's the, <laughs> it's so good. Um, it is, it is one of my like secret goals to, I'm Googling multiple orgasm. That's not great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get some tips. Talk about sushi. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have a cheese having. Yes, indeed, I'm all right, cream cheese, California mix, smoked salmon, tempura fried, and then broiled in a spicy Japanese aioli and drizzled with sweet soy. Like, it sounds horrible, but it's so yummy. Well, Colorado shouldn't have sushi. You know, Colorado is very landlocked and has a lot of sushi. <laughs> it is very up far away from sea <laughs> Oh, gosh. Pigeons always make me so sad with how they're treated. It's not their fault that we decided we didn't want to care for them anymore. Oh, Martine, I don't know why we're talking about pigeons. I missed it, but you're we're right. Squirrels. Oh, yeah. And, like, pigeons like squirrels. Did we just release them to the wild when we were done with them? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that about squirrels? Yeah, I did know that about squirrels. We just found that out. We just released them into the Boston Common. <sighs> now we have squirrels. Did you have squirrels? They're so cute. I want one as a pet. So I think a squirrel is my speed of pet. Oh, I know. Did you have like a campus squirrel, like one that like if you saw it was it it was a good day? Like we had one black squirrel on campus. Yeah. And if you saw that one, it was like that was a good day. Good, good day. day squirrel. Yeah. Um, like people we went as the black one. squirrel for Halloween. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I did not, but I also went to NYU, so we didn't really have a campus. <laughs> Any squirrels uh, in Washington Square Park? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Uh, so Captain C asked if we're doing a Fourth of July bag. Here's the thing. I'm in another wedding. <laughs> So you're in a wedding on the third of July? Yeah, on the third 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 On the third <laughs> A wedding on the third of on July. Third of July. I'll be in a wedding. Uh yeah, no, my friend Carrie and Patrick, friends, they are both my friends. They I knew them separately and then they met and got together Aww. and they're lovely. Uh they're one of my favorite couples. They're great. And their wedding is 70s glam rock themed. Yeah. Oh fun. What are you oh, wearing? Yeah. What? What are you wearing? Leme. Well, I'm a bridesmaid, so I had a, like a specific color. So I've got this dress that I actually tried on this morning because I was like, I'm scared I've gotten fat since I, I just had a moment. Anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's like magenta. It yes. goes like this and like this. So there is no bra in the world that works. So it's getting stickied, and then it goes this slit oh, up to here, <laughs> and then it's you know all the way down the ground. Oh my gosh, it's going to be. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be really fun. Um, but yes, all the all the bridesmaids have different like jewel tones basically, and yes. then everybody's right. Oh my god! And hers, her wedding dress is freaking incredible. I can't really talk about Obviously. it yet, but oh my god, it's so good. Um, yeah, yeah. And Adam is not going to this one. I'm gonna be like in the wedding, and also all of my good friends are in the bridal party, so it's gonna be like a lot of me hanging out with my people. Um, but my <laughs> that sounds fun. One of my besties, Libby, is coming from Colorado, and we're gonna drive up. On Saturday, um, I'm stoked. It's gonna be a blast. Uh, it's gonna be really good. So I will be out of town. Is the long answer to your question, Captain C. We maybe can do like a midweek yeah, check in, something. something with P Pinterest, or we can even do a bake midweek if we have time, if we have the ability to. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We gotta see, see what, what the streaming schedule is. Technical <laughs> gentleman <laughs> says about that. But um, but yeah. And since Amanda will be out of town, I'll probably also be out of town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we Quick are... little beach trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're not going to do a 4th of July on the 4th of July, but I'll be back... Here, we're boiling. Look at this. I'll Can be back on Charlotte? the Tuesday, yeah. and then should be back for the following weekend, right? Following weekend, we're good. Yeah. So we'll definitely stream the weekend of, like, the 10th, 11th, and then the following weekend, I'm doing a film festival. Oh, this is food themed, actually. So I... Uh, if anybody knows Cherry Grove, it is a island, is an island that, um, is sort of connected to or associated with Fire Island, which there is a movie that recently came out called Fire Island, uh, about that community, or a <laughs> subset weird. of that community. <laughs> they are okay. very puffy. Okay. So, um, and Cherry Grove is more of a eh, queer, queer, lesbian-centric area of it, and I ended up going out there last September to film a short film where I played a lesbian uh, in a, uh, from the 1950s and a story about this, this couple um, and societal pressure and stuff. And it was really beautifully done and so fun. I got to collaborate with some amazing people. Um, and we're doing a film festival out there. We're going to show the 
show the thing. So I'm going out with my other bestie, Hannah. And it's going to be great. So that's my little queer contribution for today. The reshoots were good, can really? Yeah, they, um, we ended up finding a hermit crab that had been flipped over on its back. So it was like this big and it was kicking. And we flipped it over and we're like, go to the, to the water. That? But then it wasn't going to the water because the, like, the sand was all like loose. So we picked it up and put it in. The, and then it was like rolling because it was really high tide and very windy. And I was like, oh, God. But I think we saved it. And then we came across a dead one that was literally this big and looked like a dinosaur. It was insane. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that was the reshoots. Uh, also, just lots of like walking through a really beautiful. It, honestly, Cherry Grove is beautiful and feels like you're playing an old school video game and somebody's going to pop out of the bushes and offer you a quest. I really like it. It's a nice vibe. Just want to let you know that we're exactly on schedule. <sighs> mm, yeah. Woo! Huh. Scheduling is my job. <laughs> <laughs> but for the last like, two seconds. <laughs> okay. Sometimes so you. you put okay. molasses in there. Okay. So yep. now let's, let's say, wait, pause. Because we want to make sure that well, once we one put at it time, in, I think. one at a time for then sure. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And I have an add 30 seconds. So what if I go okay. like this? Oh no, that just makes Let me, I'll, I'll, I'll time. I've okay. got my little timer. Okay, so we'll do 30 seconds at a time, then we'll flip, oh, and then we'll put it on the thing. Sure, right? right way. Are we baking it on this thing? No, this okay. is just um, for it to sort of to let the water off. Okay, great. And then it'll go back on this tray Perfect. and into the oven for 20 to 25 okay. minutes. Okay, great. And our oven is heated. Okay. Yep. Ooh, this is like game time, fellas. Okay, ready? I don't know why I said fellas. There's lots of... Everybody here, welcome. All right, and everyone's a fellow to this. Should we? No, can we use this to like yeah. lower it in? Yeah, I'm just worried about splashing. Okay, okay, ready? And whoop, go. So we're doing 30 seconds. Then we're gonna flip it up. 30 go. second dance. I made up so many songs yesterday. Like I was walking this kid to the bathroom, and I don't want to say her like full name, but okay. okay. So I'll say it about you. Okay. I was holding her hand, and I was like, potty break. For Amanda Nicholas, potty <laughs> break. We're gonna wash our hands. <laughs> potty break. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, and give it up with me. Oh no. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do like that. One, two, for the next time. Yeah, get a little more. Okay. I can help. Yeah. Alright, All right, this is going well. This one's going nice. Yeah. You doing your just best as a ton? You guys are having a good time? How are we good at stream? We're people pleasers. We've learned this about ourselves. Yes, we have. Man, oh man. We were talking yesterday about like the importance of being, hold on, five, four, three, two, get that out of there. All right. <laughs> Let's grab the next one. Ooh, it is slimy. <laughs> it is weird. It's so slimy. Okay. Ready? Set. All right. 30 second story time. So <laughs> we were talking about being nice and how that is like important and to ourselves drilled worth. into yes. like especially I don't know I feel like maybe now I was gonna make generalizations I think everybody's you're you're like taught the importance importance of being nice but like man oh man mm, nice women especially always, I mean, yeah. yeah I was gonna ask, yeah no I think it's yeah, true it's true all right so women especially but like you are taught to be a nice person and nice is not always kind get that flippy ready mm -hmm. you push down I push up yeah okay yeah. Oh, so smooth. And nice <laughs> is different than then good. That's it. And nice is also different than kind. Because, yes. like, the kind thing to do, potentially, is not very nice. I did a not nice thing the other day that was, like, felt bad. And a person said, you're not nice. And I was like, whew, I got to deal with that and, like, yeah. digest that. And it felt bad. But it was also the right thing to do. Which is, it's a lot. Hard. It's a lot. Yeah. Get that out of there. <laughs> yeah, the other day, I mean, I came to the stream and said this. Um... J-Stream, that one's weird. But okay. <laughs> it looks like a, like a crab. Something looks like looks something. It's like a sea creature. Um, my therapist was going over the traits of a people pleaser and um, then ended our session 10 minutes early because she said, I looked irritable. <gasps> and I was like, oh, this isn't pleasing. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Did she say, like, you look <clears throat> irritable, so I'm stopping? She was like, I'm just going to let you go because you seem so <clears throat> irritable. Ew. And I was like, ah! And I did warn her beforehand. I was just like, just so you know, like, I had a long day and, like, I only just ate. So, like, if I look like I started to crash, like, whatever. That's why? Interesting. Ooh. I and she literally like, told us, read me, like, ten things about a people pleaser. And I was like, uh-huh, all of those. All of those. And, yeah. then she, and then she was like, And then she ended it early. Ooh. Flip. Ready? Yeah. Throw it, team. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Oh, that's a lot. I, I would start next session with, hey, when you said <laughs> I looked irritable, irritable, that stuck with me. That's how I would start it. That was it. A <laughs> test of my people pleasing. <laughs> now all I can think about is, does she like me? Yeah, man. Ooh. I, for a while, with my therapist, he was laughing a lot during our sessions, and I was like, ooh, I'm entertaining him. This is great. That was me and my therapist in college. <laughs> oh, he literally no. said to me once, I think you're really cool. And ah. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this he was split split. All right, that's fine. That'll be our tester one. Okay, this one we can bread slice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bread slice and bagels. Okay, I feel like this one's going to be the baby. Yeah, no I think this is the one that looks nicest. Yeah, we'll see. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> they look so modeled. Wait, touch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it. promising. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the bagel! <laughs> Like, are you subtracting 10 minutes ago? Honestly? I don't yes. think that's how cerebral works. <laughs> New, let's give it a flip. Okay. Yeah. Therapy, man, it's a tricky thing. And I, I really like for a while I was. Should we put about, sprinkles on these? Oh, maybe. Like how you would put like a poppy seed? Will it. I'm trying to think if there's any reason we shouldn't. Yeah, sure. Let's maybe not do all of them just in case it does something weird. No, we're fine. <laughs> I just panicked because I assumed we were late. Everything's fine. Let's get it out of there, though. Okay. Yep. Nice. Good. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. So yeah, we did the thing. Was on the weird ones. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. All right. Oh, so I'm going to get... That goes off. Are you going to... Yeah. Okay. Yes. Do you want me to... Hold? Over here, so that it's yeah. Oh my god. Well, we know your oh. history with. Yeah, I know. Crossing the kitchen. <laughs> crossing the kitchen. <laughs> it's floor brownies. Okay. There will be no floor bagels. <laughs> I love these. Uh, Charlotte seems to be. Oh. Uh, all right. Let's finish this in the. Oh, she got hot. Whoops. Yeah, that will happen. All right. Well, no Charlotte for a little bit. No Charlotte for a minute. Sorry, we boiled her. Ooh, poor Charlotte. Okay, so here's our bagels. Okay, we're going to we separate them a little because they're yeah. going to pop up in the oven. And I'm just going to try and reconnect this guy a little Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and squished. <laughs> yep. Yeah, give it a little smoosh. <laughs> Let's see if that does anything. All right, okay. we're going to find out. Going in the oven. Push us luck, team. I'm gonna open. Twenty-five. Yeah, it says between twenty and twenty-five, so let's do twenty first. <laughs> but let's you. All right. All right. I just spun in a circle. <laughs> I have nowhere to go. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> Me at, uh, at me in the first six months of therapy. This will be worth it. This will be worth it. This will be worth it. And it was. I'm glad it was worth it. Yeah, I've been with my therapist now for like four years, probably. Three and a half, four. Yeah. Um, and we have gotten to a really good spot where he's able to call me on my jet. <laughs> Which is great because for a while, I think, it, you know, just at the beginning of sort of getting to know me, there was a lot of like him being seeming really entertained by my stories. And so then I was like leaning harder into entertaining him and very much like the people pleasing. And I think he just kind of sit back and sort of let me do it just to, to learn more about me. But now he's at a point where he's like, Hey, remember that pattern of that thing that I've observed for years now? And like, Oh, it's a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a little painful, but, but it's good. It's, it's helpful because there are, <sighs> thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. Mandy. Rue. We're, we hope they, Pop up nicely in there. I think the thing that I'm worried about is the uh, the modeled look. I don't know. I don't know a about that. Play doh y kind of yeah. look. <laughs> we'll see. You know what? We are making gluten free rainbow bagels. So like, I honestly, if they're edible, although we all win. of the like bagel like rainbow bagel videos I watched, they looked like play doh. Okay. I think that's just like what I think color that's does. All right, cool. Nathan, hi. <gasps> Hello. We're so happy to have you. My favorite part of therapy is when I started having an anxiety-free day. So I was like, is this how other people feel all the time? <laughs> yes. Ooh, I'm still not there, friend. Let's, uh... I've just had, like, anxiety-less days. Yeah. Which... Not, like, anxiety-less. Anxiety-less. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I'm just like, oh, I can just choose to not. Oh, interesting. If I yeah. just don't engage, or as I can much. like react to this thing without a massive panic attack. Yeah, fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or I can understand that something wasn't about me. <laughs> oh, Nathan, we've been talking about how hot it is. We just had to turn on our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's it's toasty. It's so warm. Yeah. How hot is it there in California? I'm sure. Probably. I think it's 90 right. degrees here on the top floor of a New York City <laughs> pre-war apartment building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be worth it. Bagels are delicious. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to make some funfetti cream cheese, which Should we look a up thing. a recipe or just like figure sure. it out? I mean, I found a couple recipes. Oh, okay. Or you did, you know, no, I didn't look it up at all. I was well, doing okay. a fresh, a fresh <laughs> Google. Funfetti cream cheese recipe. So yeah, something, I think it's, yeah, I think it's basically like sugar and cream cheese and the uh, sprinkles. 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 Hmm. I mean, basically like a confetti frosting, I would think. Yeah. But less, yeah, just a little less sugar. Cream cheese, colorful sprinkles, and powdered sugar. We have all those things! Yay! And it says one carton. What's a carton? I'm assuming that's about that much. Yeah. And then powdered sugar, a quarter cup. I'm just going to look at a couple more. Just for a ratio, say. Just for ratio. I have not tried the sour cream donut at Duncan, Gary. I'm scared too. And frankly, if I'm going to have a donut, I want it to be delicious. You know what I mean? Is the sour cream donut news to people? I love sour cream donuts. Do you? Yes. I've never had. It's like a cake donut, but a little sour cream, so there's a little tang. Mm, okay. I love sour cream donuts. Interesting. I feel like my favorite donut is not a cake donut. Oh, I tend okay. to like a very, like... My favorite donut is a crawler. Chocolate. Okay, fair. <laughs> so, I'm weird. Yeah. Oh, this one says add almond extract, <laughs> but it also is, oh, and it says a half a cup of powdered sugar for one eight ounce package of cream cheese. I'm going to look at one more. That seems I, too sweet. That's too sweet. Yeah. Let's, let's start with less let's sugar. Let's start with a quarter and see what and we see, end up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mrs. Pasta agrees they are delicious. Okay. I will take all your word for it. Eight ounces, half a cup of Funfetti cake mix. This is the one I saw. <laughs> vanilla and rainbow sprinkles. That's mm, silly. We could add a little silly. vanilla. We could. Let's do that. Okay. That's fun. Now, we could also make it rainbow. And like, schmear three, five different colors. Yeah. And then like... I mean, I guess probably it would just all sludge together. Do so you also down. see the people like... <laughs> Putting the cream cheese in and then like, um, like rolling it in sprinkles. No, yeah, that's fun. I like that. All right, I think let's just yeah, we're just we'll play around, we'll taste it as we go. Tomorrow's your seventh wedding anniversary. How exciting! Congratulations, seven years. Ooh, that's is that a like a lucky anniversary? Is that a, I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't. I don't know. I'm only on five. <laughs> I'm on zero. <laughs> Although Adam and I did celebrate seven years. I know. I guess we're on eight. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been together almost the same amount of time as yeah. Jay and I. Uh, honey, you still watching? <laughs> well, how many years have we been together? Germany isn't big on donuts to the point where anything without a hole in the middle isn't considered a donut. But I really like the ones filled with jam and dusted with sugar. Those are a staple here. Yeah, those are great. And I really like... I like like a... Uh, what are those called? Long Johns? Is that a thing? I don't know. What, could, uh, what am I thinking of? Jay knows donuts. Jay, Whoa. help me with donuts. Um, long, chocolate on the top, very like soft, so not like a cakey donut. Yeah. And then potentially filled with something delicious. That's a long john. It's a long john. Ah. Yeah. Okay. At least in the Midwest, some people call them Claire's too. Yeah. Eclairs. Oh, so that's, that's what they the are. Thing I was thinking of. Think. Okay, but yes, Claire's. Different from having shoe pastry eclairs. Yes. And we did have that conversation. I was like, I love an eclair. And you were like, it was confusing. How's that going? I don't know why I decided to mix it by hand. Yeah. But I, I think it's good. That. Okay, great. <laughs> Would you like me to take a turn? Is your wrist sure. Turn? Okay. <laughs> Get a little, a little hoopy. These look like bagels. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm so proud I'm, of us. Uh, I'm very pleasantly shocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we live for. I'm very, I'm very impressed, ladies. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you! I thought this was going to be a big fan. <laughs> <laughs>
Honestly, I was about 50-50 on it. I really wasn't sure. <laughs> Jada, you think sprinkles or should we try and make a color? Uh, I think sprinkles. I think sprinkles, yeah. Because okay. we made the bagel a color. color. The bagel. That's yeah. true. Give it a go. Woo! Oh, oh, oh my, my god. god. Sorry, it was fun. I like it. Oh, I kind of forgot that I just... It, it actually colors it. Look okay, cool. Oh, how fun. Wait, everyone. Happy Pride. Yay! Yay! Did we talk about Pride things? I don't think we did much. Oh, no. Do you have any favorite Pride memories? Oh, gosh. Have you been to the mm. parade? I've been to the parade. I also went to the Dyke March last year, and that was oh, really God. fun. Really liked that. I was, it was like, so I'm a little queer. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like not practicing as am I, in a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Long-term, hetero, it's monogamous. Spectrum, guys. The Kinsey yeah, scale. for sure. I'm definitely, I th like, if, if we've got gay all the way over here, we've got straight all the way over here. I'm probably somewhere in the like bisexual or pansexual with a yeah. like I mean it's it's hard. There's a lot of like bisexual mm -hmm. erasure. There's a lot yeah. of like so I feel a little this like Especially I'm a fraud. I'm those of us who are with men. Yeah. And like very So I'm like, I don't know, I've just always been with a guy. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I'm definitely I, I can look back now and be like, oh that was a crush that I had on that female, you know, actress or that mm -hmm. <laughs> that friend or that, you know, I'm like, yeah, is that a there's definitely a resistance my straight friends have to uh, <laughs> objectifying or thinking of women as sexy or hot, and I don't have that resistance. So there you go. Um, has now you aren't on TikTok nearly as much as I am, but true. I will ask. This is true. Um, has your TikTok told you you're bi? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, lots. In <laughs> fact, I watched a TikTok the other day that literally said things that I do that I didn't realize were gay until I saw <laughs> TikTok, and I was like, oh, I do that. just like hey are you a, a gifted and talented burnout kid with maybe <laughs> slightly undiagnosed ADHD that's maybe a little bit bisexual but married to just like a golden retriever boy that plays video games and I was like excuse me excuse me excuse me <laughs> that was like my first day on TikTok and I was like god <laughs> hello that's incredible yeah that's so here so we are I'm going to immediately bust out in laughter because I've had the worst 90 days of my life and sometimes <laughs> you just got to laugh. Davis, I don't, I don't oh, know I why that I feel like broke. <laughs> oh, no. Like, His uncle passed like, away. Oh, no. It's like, man. Oh. God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. But it's just like oh. every time oh. they show up, he's like, hey, you, know the, I, uh, you remember the how I was in the hospital? Yeah, now I got COVID. I'm like, fuck. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sending you love. Oh no. He just had it ready and I think he did laugh. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. The day I buy a season pass, nice day. Oh man. Sending love. Let us know if you need anything. We're, you know, bringing you bagels and smiles, doing what we can. How are we doing? You want a peek? Hey. Those look bagely. I'm so proud of us. I almost lost my horn. <laughs> cool. Oh. Well, all right. Um, anyway, <laughs> we've got funfetti cream cheese, so we're all set with that. Let's see. What what fun pride memories do you have? Um, the I last pride that. I went to was right, yeah. um, World Pride when okay. like it was in New York and there were eight million people here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they closed down like all of the streets. Did I tell oh, this on our God. Pinterest stream or was I just telling my friend this recently? I don't think I know this story. Oh, and I was with uh, one of my best friends, Kevin. <laughs> he had a sh shirt with a rainbow on it that said, sorry about your hole. <laughs> and we took, like, really good pictures together that day. But just his shirt says, sorry about your hole. That's In all of these really amazing. cute pictures of me, Kevin, and Ryan. <laughs> um, but we just, like, wa they closed, like, all of 6th Avenue. And after the parade was done, the streets were still closed. And so it was just, like, open streets. It was 90 degrees. That's it was the hottest fun. day ever. Um, and then we just, like, stumbled into... My friend who owned a bar at the time, his bar, that the air conditioner was broken, but there yeah. was a drag show in the back. And so it was just like, just a continuation of outside. So just like <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> and we just like drank a lot of cold beverages really fast and then went home. Oh, and it was just like that. a wonderful day with friends. Oh, that's the best. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've had a few, a few really delightful prides. Marches. Ooh, when I was, so speaking of my church, so my church that I grew up in, uh, 
wasn't always, but when I turned about 12, so like in 2002, yeah, uh, 2002, 2003, they, they made a big shift because our uh, main pastor came out uh, as gay and he was married to a woman and had three grown kids. And so it was this big, like, you know, big painful mm -hmm. thing. They went through a divorce and like all the stuff. And there was about half of our con congregation that made their lives horrible, just like <gasps> turned on them. Uh, and it was really sad, really hard to see. And there was this like, come to Jesus, forgive me, a, a, you know, as a sort of congregation, like, who are we? And what, what, like, what does it mean to be, you know, United Church of Christ or whatever the, the actual yeah. doctrine of what we stood for? Uh, and the church as a mm, business, I guess, for lack of a better word, decided to become open and affirming, which is their version of, hey, everybody's welcome. Actually, everybody's welcome. And so to participate, to actually, yeah, yeah. not hey, everybody's welcome. We're gonna gaslight you into things. Yeah, you're everybody's welcome. welcome. Right. You can't get married. No, no, <laughs> and you can't be who you are. I love the sinner. You're sinner, welcome. To, I love the sinner, but in not you. the sin. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, but, but, well, well, I hate yeah. that. Uh, so anyway, I so I'm like viewing all of this as a you know preteen teenager. Oh, great, thank well, you. Amazing, thanks, Jay. Um, and they a lot of people left, so like the church became a lot smaller. Um, so but sad. the people that remained were, were the cool. people that were like, yeah, this is, this is the answer. And so started doing a ton more outreach, a ton more, like there was a, there was a, a huge push for just being a pillar in the community. Um, and they had an open and affirming committee that my dad actually headed. Is that headed? Your dad. Who was that? I know. I love Led? That. So great. Led? He was the head know. of it. Um, and anyway, so we marched every year as a church in the gay pride parade. That's the coolest and thing. And downtown Denver. And I got to drive, this was the best part, a Mitsubishi Spider convertible that was bright red. Oh, and I got to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, so I, I guess I wasn't driving that until I was 16. So that was a, a fast forward a couple years. So I, we marched in it and then, you know, it became a whole thing. Anyway, I got to drive that bad boy on the highway to go get it from the church member that was like loaning it to us. I thought, man. It was the coolest. That is one of my favorite pride memories. That's so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Barbara. You also have a wonderful family, and I'm very, very happy to be a part of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the church is doing a lot of really cool, good things. They're doing a bunch of activism now, and, like, they, they just, uh, they keep hiring clergy members that are queer in some way. Like, they just are really, like, practicing Owning what it. they, yeah. Yeah. Which is lovely. <laughs> I really, it's, it's a, uh, Nathan, that's very sweet. I, uh, I am excited to get to know you better as well. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. That's very nice. I'm blushing a little. <laughs> also overheating <laughs> slightly, so both things are happening. It's hot in this kitchen. Yeah, I'm excited for these bagels to be done so that I can turn the oven off. <laughs> Mostly. Oh, God. Yep. But we're just turning the camera around into my bedroom so we can go to the air conditioning. That's why I've been in my office. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was like, I feel like I'm out of bandwidth. We're good. It's yeah. chilly in there, so. <laughs> Nathan, don't worry about it. Adam is very used to it. It is all good. Because she's so cool. Because <laughs> I'm the coolest. Very nice. Well, I don't know. You are. I love know. you. Yeah. You are. Love me. Read yeah. your shirt. Read, read my shirt. <laughs> I'm going to look at them again. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what? Those are looking kind of baked. They're looking a little... No, they need one more time. Yeah, yeah. But, wow! Bagels! They smell good. They do smell they really good. They do, actually. Mmm! Whoa! Right, this is totally going to be worth it. <laughs> Open okay. freezer, insert face. Honestly, karma? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Come on over. Don't touch me. Oh, do I have popsicle? <laughs> Just one. Just one. We'll share a popsicle. That'll be nice for this. Because you want some ice cream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else like Oatly? I love Oatly. I love Oatly. It's very good. Texturally, it's so it's good. So it's very good. Thank you. Ellie, are you here? It's non-dairy. Our whole recipe today is non-dairy. Yeah. This is a whole vegan. Well, until you put cream cheese on it. But oh, yeah. <laughs> but vegan until then. Oatly. So it's O A T L Y. Oatly. I, mean, I think it's just made with oat milk, right? Yeah. Oat milk, sugar, coconut oil, you know, sugar stuff. 
Buffalo it's powder. so good. Mm -hmm. Contains 2% or less of mono and diglycerides of fatty acids, locust bean gum, <laughs> guar gum, and sea salt. It's mm. very tasty. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. And my bodega mm. sells it, which is the best thing. Oh, I love a bodega. Yeah. Man, oh man. Ugh. I need to branch out. I get mostly Ben and Jerry's and mostly the Tonight Go. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing in the world. I do like that one a lot. Yeah, it's really good. I have Oatly. Mm. They also have that fancy gelato in the jar that mm -hmm. screws. Mango. What is that called? Gelato? Tallini or something? <laughs> it's gelati. <laughs> it's gelati. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oatly screws me up. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bummer. Is it going to screw me up? I don't think I've had this kind. <laughs> oh. I... Mm. Oh, Talenti. Thank you, Brie. Talenti, that's it. Gelati. Gelati or tol Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> Put those two together. Mm. Talenti. Yeah, the mango one's my favorite. Mm. Mm. The raspberry, too. So good. Ooh. Low brain fruit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, this is, Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's going so well. <laughs> Toblerone makes ice cream. What? Nathan, you. <laughs> Oh my god, ooh. Chocolate chips in the raspberry talenti. Yes, Brie. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I am. Um, so when I worked at Cold Stone, which I had talked about many times uh, as a teenager, we would get a free ice cream every time we worked, which I took full advantage of and then some. And one of my favorite things to do on a like mm -hmm. really hot night was a scoop of the raspberry sorbet and chocolate little mini chocolate chips. Man, that hit the spot. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Shelby. <laughs> she loves the giggly atmosphere here. That, yeah, but pretty much. We do bring the giggles. I just realized, I was like, how do we know if the bagel is done? I'm, and then, you know how sometimes on Bake Off, they like, oh, give it a tappy. Or the temperature. And I'm just like, oh. how are you supposed to know what temperature bread should be in the middle? It's not like meat where they're like, it's done at 165. I don't know. That's interesting. But don't you give it a tap and then if it's hollow? And yeah. Then a bagel thing? That's a bread thing in general, I think. Bye, Nathan. We'll see you in a minute. Bye, Nathan. Oh, BRB. Said BRB. Um, GTG. Um, yeah, 30 seconds. We'll give their bottoms a tap. <laughs> Tapping bottoms. Happy, Happy Pride. Pride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just like, we're just like tiptoeing into a little knotted territory. <laughs> Sometimes you got to. I've got a notification, <laughs> notification from Stitch Fix, which you haven't told me about yet. I got him really into Ooh. Stitch Fix. <laughs> I laid them all out and love them. I'll show you them after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I literally was like, I wouldn't have really picked any of this out. And I was like, Jay, do you want to come in for a fashion show? Yep. And you did. And I tried them all on and they all fit perfectly and were all really flattering. Yes. And I was like, what's this happening? And so now Jay might do it too. Yay. Yeah. Oh, okay. good. Yeah, so, so for those of you who don't know, show everyone how cool these look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jay. Can we have Charlotte? Okay, and then I'm going to go like. It's just hot. I know, I'm yeah. sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that does sound kind of hollow. Okay, we can lose Charlotte, Jay. Thank you. I'm gonna turn the oven off. Yeah. And leave them in there for like five more minutes. I think that's a great okay. idea. Because I just want to turn the oven off. Oh, interesting. Kimberly can have oatmeal, but not oat milk. <clears throat> Fascinating. Because you make sure you have gluten free oatmeal, but then oat milk is probably processed with gluten. Yeah. Oh. Because that's why you have to look for gluten-free oatmeal because a lot of times the mills that process oats the day before oh, process yeah. wheat. Yeah. And so it's not like a contained, not contained really. environment. Oh, that sucks. Weird. Hmm. Or actually a lot of times they're grown in the same fields. And so like the gluten-free oh. starts really from the, what a from the jump. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Thank um, you guys. Oh, Captain Steve. Thank Steve. you. 
from her baby. Yes, I love Ripple. It's pea Ooh. milk. Steam says 205 And Jay degrees. thinks it's weird. Huh? 205 degrees Fahrenheit if we do a thing in the middle. Ooh! And here. 200 and what? 205. Okay. Alright, get some right now, Zane. He's a great. Mm-hmm. What was that? Charlotte. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's okay. Oh, it's fine. Two hundred and what? It's all good. Woo! Two hundred and what? Five. It's two hundred and nine. Oh, that's getting it out. Oh, that scared me so bad. I'm gonna make you do a transfer. Yep. Can you just sort of peel the yeah, out of the cooling rack. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, it is. You okay? Yeah. Take some look. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. It's the bagels. It's bagels! Yeah! Which they look a little bit, because they're cooked, they're a little bit less sort of vibrant, but I feel like once we bite into them, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think the insides are going to be really vibrant. I feel like they probably need to really Oh yeah, we need to cool them, so for sure. <laughs> I'm going to move the fan. I'm just going to Yeah. <laughs> wow! Oh, Brie. At least it was an entire pan of brownies. Yeah, that was pretty heartbreaking. That was that was pretty devastating. <sighs> My kitchen is just not great in terms of the layout, and I I was trying to transfer them, and I it just I used the par the parchment paper broke. That's what happened. The parchment paper is hot. It is very brittle. Yeah, knew and and knew that now. I knew it now. And I knew, knew things me. now. Oh, Brie, I almost cried over the brownies. That was so sad. Oh was no, sad. it's a sad moment. Had it known before. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. If you have ice cubes, you could put a little bowl full in front of the fan to cool down the air even more. I like that. Oh. We'll do that. Should I just fix Charlotte or just make it weird for everyone for a long time? Oh. Well, I didn't realize she was on. That's my bad. You guys are you need to remember to type that thing. Oh, is that what's happening? Uh, Where do we tighten it from this one? Are you sure? Okay. Thanks. That was the thing that, that wasn't the thing that came loose earlier. No. I'm going to need education later, Jay. <laughs> Almond, cashew, coconut milk. Man, I am not lactose intolerant, but I do love, I love some oat milk. Like I, I love an oat milk latte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Because it's just carbs. Well, yeah. <laughs> Love cards. It's like breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. This one, weirdly, that was the weirdest looking one. Is looking... Is looking quite This fun. one looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. This one exploded a little bit. I feel like there's a, probably a trick to making them stick together. Yeah, and it's probably easier when it's not five layers of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and probably easier not gluten-free. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. To be fair. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to find out. I know. Do they feel done? They're really soft. They feel real doughy. Yeah. But I guess if it was the right temperature. You said it was. All right, let's just let them cool. See okay. how they do. Yeah. Thanks, Martine. Oh, oh everything you everywhere all at once you? is brilliant. I still haven't good... seen it. Oh my god, let's have a movie night. The okay. boys are gonna watch it, right? Jay, you guys are yeah, gonna watch are it? Yeah, when are you watching it? We're doing it for Patreon. Uh, Can what we I come to? Um, like sit in the rows behind you. <laughs> Build a riser. <laughs> I have seen it, so that might. Oh, I don't know. Potentially I'll watch it impact then. things. We could watch together. I'll see it again. Yeah, that's probably true. Dehydrated steam. The joy I feel might be because they're gluten free and they need to cool. <laughs> you look heavy AF. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're your bagel. Well, we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's let them cool. Should we put away the ice cream sodas? Oh yeah, probably. Okay. All right. <laughs> Should we watch? Should we get a bowl of? Uh, Ice cube? Sure. You want to try that? Which ice cube do you use? Whichever ones are done. Uh, that was 
look done. can be used to satiate hunger and smash the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is my hair cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. It could hurt. Bagels are wonderful. Thank you. We are also pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess we can, like, dare I say... Try and cook bread well, should, slice oh, so one here's my real quick. Should we let them like cool and set since they're gluten free? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and oh. I was really tough. I know. I know. I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> What's the verdict? It's a bagel. It's a bagel. The chewy bagel. Is it gummy? No. Or is it chewy? Chewy. Okay. Nobody I expects think. a bagel okay. to the face. <laughs> From just that first bite, okay. I'm going to guess that um, it called for too much psyllium husk. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just a little, like, but probably when you put something delicious on it, mm -hmm. it'll be fun. Okay. Great. That's all. Yeah. I mean, we tried the thing. We did the thing. Mm -hmm. this, was, this was the attempt. Oh, my gosh. It's a bagel. It's a bagel. Let's look at their stuff therapy <laughs> yeah, we, that. we did we, so that we were talking it. last time about how we need to have little little topics little things just like if things if, if we get to a point where we're like we're cooling then we're like, cool we're down talking? guys what are we talking about? about what happened this week well what did happen this week tell me about your week i don't know if we, oh we did talk about this well you saw the culmination of i did week. see the culmination it was really the culmination of like my six months mm -hmm. um yeah yeah. On Monday and Tuesday, the kids came in for photo shoots with their costumes oh, on. The, God, that was the very costumes, adorable. costumes, you guys, they were so cute. Thank you. I, like, picked most of them out. Did you really? Yeah. Good job. And I ordered them all. Like, it's a whole thing. Spraying myself with water. It's very fun. <laughs> um, to be fair, yeah. I have no idea what happened this week. Okay. Because it was all leading <laughs> up to the that. recital, and then it happened, and my fair brain enough. has gone, duh. Okay. There. What else did I do? I went to Pilates. Nice. I have the next week, not off, but like there's no kids in the studio again for a week. It's going to make a difference. And <laughs> so I can just kind of go and then I will try and go to Pilates almost every day. Oh, wow. Every day Pilates. I would break. I, Pilates is so hard for me. <laughs> so much. I did a mall. I did a mail-in food sensitivity test with Everly Well. Ooh, that's like two fifty different food. Got a detailed breakdown. Oh, that's cool. That's I should cool do breed. that. But what if it tells me I don't, I can't eat gluten and then I'll be bad? I mean, you have the reaction to gluten. That is oh, that's time. something that happened this week. Oh. I got glutened. Oh, no. What happened? I went to a comedy show and I thought because someone told me that they handed me a can of sparkling white wine and I finally was just like, this is a tall boy. Like, this is a lot of wine. And I looked down and it said, um, sour ale with wine. <laughs> yep. And I had that yep. drink and then like a gin and tonic and the next day I was very sick and yeah. I was just like, oh, it was the gluten. Twas the gluten killed yeah. the gut. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. This is how hot our kitchen is. <laughs> oh my god, that's melting so fast. Um, so that oh. happened this week. All right. Cool. It was very frustrating, Brie. Yeah, that's really exciting. And I just went, oh, wow. Okay. Well, then, like, there are people that genuinely like are celiac and like really And someone would have handed them a spark. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, like it's an otter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was not bad. Okay. It was not good. Hmm. Well, let's see. My week, I, well, so Sunday I went to Cherry Grove and did those, we didn't even, it wasn't even reshoots. We were just like adding a little bit of connective tissue to the movie. So it was a lot of improv. So it was a lot of fun. fun. Like, yeah, uh, the director would just be like, so this is what needs to happen in this moment. And then like, just go. <laughs> and then we would like, go. Uh, so it was very, it was fun. It was like a fun exercise. Um, 
and my scene partner is a lovely human being that I get along with very well. Uh, so lucky. And then it was lots of like walking and holding hands and like the sunset on the beach. And, like it was very, and then it was also like a really chill day. So we got to go get ice cream at one point and like have dinner. It was the director's birthday. So we got to go out to dinner with her and like spoil her a little bit. It was really fun. Anyway, so that was, that was good. That was yeah. fun. Although it was three hours there and three hours back and I did that in one day. No, 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 so I left my house at like 8 a.m. and got home at like midnight. That's a long day. It's a long day. It's a long day. So I've, I had like a lot of, a lot of long days this week. Like <laughs> sorry, no, it was okay. It was like it wasn't bad stuff. And like Thursday, I dog sat, which like Aww. was very fun. The dog was like a big muppet. She's real cute. Uh, she's a Bernadie, no, Bernie's Mountain Dog Poodle, Poodle. Berna Poodle, Bernadoodle, Bernal Doodle. Oh my god, best dog. She's so sweet. She was spayed last week. And so she was she wearing a little a outfit. Of her. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and she she was wearing a little outfit, and she wasn't able to be bathed, so she was a little stinky. But she's so cute and so fun. So that was a really happy thing. <laughs> They're sleeping at my oh, feet. Oh, she a puppy. She a puppy. She's like five months. Look at oh, this little muppet face. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Let's see. Oh, that was curling oh, ass. Well, I'm taking those to carry <laughs> for her wedding because she needed them. Uh, anyway. Very cute pepper. So that I did on Thursday, but that was also, I left the house at like seven and got home at like 7.30. Not in the same window, 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh, and so it was, just, it was just a long day. It was just a lot of like that, but not bad things, you know, just, just long. Just long, just, <laughs> just lengthy. Long. Well, and yesterday was a long day. <laughs> yeah. Although fun. The kids were cute. Kids were Good. fun. I'm glad. I tried fun. to give you ones you that did. I knew. You absolutely nailed it. Yeah. So no, those birds in the blue cool. dress. That was my favorite dress, too. Ugh. So that one, the teensy tiny, those little skinny girl. Oh, uh, Ali. Alix. Alix. A L I X. I never said her name out loud because I got stressed. I was going to mispronounce it. She looks just like her mom. I never met her mom before. Oh my gosh. She's like. Oh, very cute. Well, there yeah. was a lot of, with that group, there was a lot of like, no, I want to go first. Like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. So it was so a lot they're of, like, like a private class that like go to preschool together. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of social dynamics going on in that one. It was very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like reptiles? Yeah. Yeah. I love a snake. I think they're really interesting. You know, yeah. it doesn't have an iguana growing up. I thought that was cool. I had, my first crush had an iguana. All right. And I was like, man. It's a very crushable pet. Yeah. He was like, so cool. wow, he has an iguana in <laughs> He's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, we're crushable pets. <laughs> <laughs> Jay would like to have a turtle one day. <laughs> because we saved a turtle once on the beach. I never told you this no. story. No. I just saved a hermit crab. Why didn't you oh, bring him yeah. the turtle? So we were sitting on the beach last summer, and this baby turtle starts walking up to us, uh. and me and Jay are like, it's a baby turtle. We got to get it back into the ocean. Yeah. And then it like didn't really want to go in the ocean. And then we looked up what kind of turtle it was. And it was a terrapin turtle, which then I like looked up like Ventnor Beach turtles. Like, why is there a turtle here? Because I've never seen that before <laughs> in my whole life of going to this beach. And I guess the, the bay had flooded and all of the bay turtles like got swept into the sewers and got like washed out. Oh. And so that turtle was very far from home and it was a little, little baby. Oh. And so we put it in a little Tupperware and we gave him some water and like a mound of sand to sit on and some lettuce. Oh my God, and then we turtle. then we took him to the bay and we set him free in his home. Aww. And Jay thinks about that turtle every single day. I ruined Kimberly's beach day. <laughs> he was like, we, we need to find him. I mean. And then I Jay's really mad him. we didn't keep the turtle. I'm not mad. I'm <laughs> sad. I want to make sure he's okay. Yeah. I think we can cut this bagel. All right, let's do it. Good. Okay. Um, how my mom cuts bagels and how I've learned to cut bagels apparently is very scary to watch. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you just go like this. They're cutting it the wrong way. What do you mean? Yeah. I'm not bread slicing. Oh. Maybe I'll bread slice another one. Yep, this is stressful. I'm stressed. Yeah. Oh. Alright. As long as yeah. it's a sharp yeah. enough knife. <laughs> Your ratios are not great. <laughs> we got this ring up top. Oh, hey! Look at the colors. Look at the colors. Do we have Charlotte? No. Yay, thank you. Yay. All right, it's it's colorful, but it feels a little gummy, but not terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, that looks like bagel structure.
capture. Should we try yeah, it? Yeah, now see what I mean about the, like, pockets of psyllium. Oh, yeah, I see that. So I think there's just too much, but I think okay. I can, like, make this recipe good. Now I'm determined to, like, have a good recipe. Shall yeah. we schmear? Let's schmear. Let's try it. Oh, how fun. Oh, I'm so excited we did this. Me too. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, it is still a little warm. So potentially it will set more than what it currently is. I think it's, we're ready to try it. All right, should we, like, cut yeah. it into, like, I'm going to cut it into, like, Three. thirds, yeah. and then Jay can come on in. <gasps> Who's my, my mom? Oh, hi! hi. hi they do kind of look tie-dyed. You're yeah, right. That's exactly what they look like. All right, let's see. Oh, I was going to put a top on. Oh, you are? Okay, yeah. I got it. So now we can do sandwich style. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. okay. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do, like, want? a... Would you like a, this? Cutting board? Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Mm -hmm. Just cut it in fourths, and then we'll have some left. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I used to have a bagel guillotine. Oh, that's cool. I have never owned a bagel bagel guillotine. Bagel guillotine. Okay, yeah, it's warm and goopy, but Jaybird, <laughs> come on in. No. Okay. Mm, some pretty cream cheese. Mm. I'm gonna show you a bagel. Bagel. Okay. All right, here we go. Bagel. Here Mom we go. go. One. Two. Huh? It's not not a bagel. It's oh, gummy. It's a gluten-free bagel. It's a gluten-free bagel. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It is a little gummy. But I know what I would do next time. It's a little bit. Would you replace it with anything? A little bit less. A little less psyllium husk. And the psyllium, the, the psyllium husk <laughs> made into much bagel. Mm -hmm. The psyllium husk was a replacement for flax, right? Mm -hmm. Is it a one-to-one -one thing? I looked it up and it said so. Okay. Maybe not for bagel. Maybe not. Mm. Or maybe don't make it the gel. Just put it in the bowl like it said. Mm. Don't do my bread thing. That might be it. Then also we have to add more water. That's true. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. We bagel. Did you okay. like it? Yeah. Listen. Okay. For a homemade gluten-free bagel, I thought we over mixed to make sure there was color inside of it. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm not mad at it at all. Can I just say, uh -huh. I'm very proud of you both. Thank you. Actually, look at this crumb. Look at that texture. It's yeah, not it's half good. bad. Mm -hmm. It's just still warm. Yeah. I think once they... Tomorrow, toasted, this is a bagel. Yeah, yeah 100%. Mm hmm Oh, mm, God. We did it. Yeah. We did it. All right. Wowee! Oh, I'm really proud of that. Yeah. 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 Did the thing. We did the thing. Mm-hmm. That's all. Okay. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. This was really fun. <laughs> Those happy faces. We're, honestly, We're very proud of ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> These are good. These are good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You just lost the sprinkle. <laughs> you don't need to pick it up. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Huh. No surprise in our voices. Yeah. We weren't sure. We weren't sure how this We really were not go. sure of that. <laughs> but <clears throat> thank you for being here to support thank us. Thank you. It was really nice. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Hey, love yourself. Love or, yourself. Or love yourself. Okay, <laughs> and and St. <Saint> Louis. <laughs> oh, I got something oh, on no. me. Oh, that's what happens when we put Chocolate ice cream. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what happens when we want to show off our shirts. Womp <laughs> womp. <laughs> All right, so we will definitely be back in a couple weeks. We may be yeah. back before then. We're going to figure it out. Thank you, Haltaku. Just hanging out with you guys. It's chill and fun. That yeah. is what we're that going for. Goal. Yes. Behold the business, the business model. model. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Love yeah. you all. We'll see you on the on the Discord and in the, the other places and, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Here we yeah. are. We love Yay. you. Yay. Good, Good job. job. We did the thing. Bye. Bye.